damn gary some serious gourmet shit. what flavor is this that's right it's the all hell medium roast private blend geekgrindcoffee.com use discount code nerdrotic bro this shit don't make sense <laughs> get the f out of my face man Called a Doctor Who scarf. Doctor it's a character. Yeah, that's kind of a big deal. Looks like Jodie Whittaker wear one of those. I want to slap you. <laughs> Hi everyone. Hi Jerry. Uh, my oldest kid. You know, you're never sure. A kid is raised in San Francisco, and he's got a bunch of friends. So we were like, we were like, you know, like me and Mrs. We're like, maybe he's gay. I don't know. <laughs> So, when I say that Star Wars isn't just movies to me, um, this is what I mean. As I watch it every time, I truly enjoy it every time. And uh, so we're like, it's okay, son. It's okay if you're gay. It's fine. He's like, dude, I'm not gay, Dad. <laughs> I'm like, Dad, it's okay if you are, though. <laughs> you know, I, yeah, it's okay if you're gay. It's fine. He's like, no, let's not talk about that at all. Uh, who was that? What the f does that say? I'm gonna lick the shit off of your poop. No! Oh, no! Yes! It's okay for gay. It's fine. Are you fing kidding me? God fing damn it! Shut up, you stupid fing All you do is complain, complain, complain! Fuck you, you stupid plant bitch. Who is that? Oh my god! Oh my god! Run! Oh my god! meme of that guy sitting in the audience and he's like this and Gary hit the clap early I'm like and he goes oh I hit it too early <laughs> <laughs> <You know? laughs> uh, for the audience out there before yeah. you uh, before we started uh, Gary hit the applause button way too early yeah, we, we, just, we, this never happens to me premature like yes. <laughs> sure it never happens <laughs> <laughs> uh, better to come too man. early than not at all that's uh, what I'm saying <laughs> <laughs> Every time we do this, it's not wrong. That's the motto I live by, Ryan. Right. Uh, right. Uh, welcome uh, to Friday Night Tights. Guess what? It's Friday. Hey. And we get to talk about a Zack Snyder what? movie. I'm so Yay. happy about this. Yay. Yay. Uh, look at oh, you. Do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not fully, it was Zack Snyder. Yeah, and there was much rejoicing. <laughs> we should have done, done that yeah, in slow Rebel motion. Mood. It would have. Yeah. yeah. It appeared like a fart in the wind. I had, there was no lead up, no promo. It just, oh, it's out. Oh, oh holy crap. Okay. 
Even, even a tweet even from on him where he was like, you've been waiting, and here it is. It's like, nobody's been waiting, dude. Nobody. <laughs> Nobody. No one's Nobody. 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 No, you did notice that they didn't do an, uh, a day early premiere at 9 p.m. Central Time or Eastern Time like they did last time. They just kind of dropped it in the middle of the night. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like a Ugh. like as like Shad in the night. Like like Shad said, like a four more, in the wind. Still more, in the wind. Still four more movies coming, right? Yeah, I mean, give it a chance. This it's is just the intro, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, no, it's like is there is four it's more two movies, right? Because it's the extended trilogies, versions, right? Of each well, one. it is oh, a yeah, yeah, six yeah. movie trilogy. Okay, okay. so yeah. one more movie, <laughs> but three more versions. But not of those to three com- movies. not to be confused with the director's cut six part trilogy, which is going to be completely different movies in an alternate universe. Yeah, I hope every title gets longer and longer and longer. <laughs> I do too. Like by the sixth one, it's like a novel. Yes. <laughs> Which to be honest, it's not, not as it. it's not as long as uh, fucking Mission Impossible Seven. <laughs> That's true. Mi- Mission Impossible Seven: Dead Reckoning Part One. <laughs> that was, uh, yeah, was kind of rough. Long. That was a little rough. It's been renamed. So. Uh, greetings, everyone. Uh, let's get to it. Hello, today, Cobra. How you doing? Uh, I'm happy to not be affiliated with Zack Snyder on this wonderful day. Um, so thank you, Zack. That is a hell of a bullet we dodged. Um, but yeah, I uh, I have not seen Rebel Moon Part 2. I saw half of Rebel Moon Part 1, and uh, that was a chore in itself. But I'm just glad that the world is finally realizing Zack Snyder is a terrible fucking director. Um, just always Yay. has been. Always <laughs> has been. Um, but yeah. Friday night tights. Let's fucking go. Let's go. At at least Jar Jar Abrams had the, you know, just went away in shame. Uh, (laughs) He's coming back. He's going to make Back to the Future. Yeah. What is? No, no, no. Back back to the the Future. future, But it's like, like, yeah, yeah. So basically, he's going to do Super Eight Part Two, where he's just ripping off something from, like, in some iconic. It's so bold to just fucking admit that. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's like, like, I'm going to copy it. (laughs) I have no real creativity at all. Yeah. Okay. (laughs) We we know. (laughs) And all these big studios won't let me touch any established IPs anymore. (laughs) Maybe I'm just going to make a carbon copy. Maybe he should call it Super 8 Part 2 Back to the Future. Electric Boogaloo. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm Super 8 to the Future. I didn't even <laughs> like Super 8. I, I like giver. Super 8. I like Super That's 8. Terrible. I don't like stories with with kids. Uh, just, uh, <laughs> <laughs> really? Not surprised. Uh, Ryan's that guy that was outside the cafe. <laughs> he pointing at the sign. I don't, I'm glad I don't have kids. And then he's like, right, I hate kids. <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. You I don't like watching them. I, I, I'm so done watching movies of, of fucking like 13 year olds who know better than every other fucking adult. No, I'm just, I'm just fucking sick of it. Like Ghostbusters. Yeah. Well, Ryan, yeah, yeah. that's their ideal partner in Hollywood. Yeah, that's yeah, true. I know. That's true. How else are they going to get him on the cast? That's why couch? I rephrased. I was, I was going to add a. <laughs> I was going to add a descriptive. I don't like movies with fucking kids. That's what I was going to say. But then I realized Hollywood might take that too literally. Oh, yes. man. Sorry, hang on. Ryan, you don't like the Goonies? I, like, I'm, we saw so many of those when we were growing up. I'm kind of over it, okay. if that makes sense. I've seen yeah. enough coming-of-age stories. I'm fucking sick of them. Like that's you how still I need feel. to watch Stranger Things season one. It's fantastic. That's the, literally the reason I don't watch it. Maybe I'll watch Stranger Things season five because they're all be in their mid forties. <laughs> <laughs> it really will. I'm not even looking forward Join to Stranger Things season five, dude. Uh, it's it's, it's gonna be so like, weird. They have like nine months of filming left on it or something. <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, but if M- rumor Millie Bobby it- Brown is going to be out of Leonardo DiCaprio's dating range by the time that. <laughs> 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 I, I, the the reaction to Rebel Moon Part Two has been pretty bad. It's so bad, some dude set his cell phone fire uh, today just because he had. To, he's like, yeah, I, I rather- thought it was. I thought it was to sell crypto. <laughs> I don't know. It was like this has nothing, to, another this Zack has nothing movie. to do with Trump. This is all about Netflix and Zack Snyder. <laughs> <laughs> Sick of this shit. <laughs> I think it was me actually. Yeah. I think it, was just, it was like I tried to set myself on fire and slow motion but it didn't work <laughs> yeah, i thought the flames would bellow in slow motion i'd be okay because i'd be able to like down quite myself. work the first, me the third degree burn giver uh, uh yeah the, well the first one is called the child of fire so <laughs> uh, there you go what's up as hi uh the real bbc's plushies are now up oh. on mateship 
Uh, yeah, boy. We got a we got a Molly. We got a Gary. Let's go. We got an Az. We got an X-ray girl making her plushy debut. Oh boy, there's gonna be a Ooh. lot of fucking that pillow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. The first fucking thing he says. <laughs> not, not good. I love this little. Oh, they're great. awesome. Yeah. They're awesome. <laughs> That is cool. That is yeah, awesome. so we got we got the uh, Cthulhu uh, Mola. We got the Peeping Tom as we got the Gary of Riv <laughs> Rivier. Gary of Rivier, just in time for The Witcher to get canceled. <laughs> Who, uh, well, I was going to say, apparently it's very difficult to get this plushie through a door. Uh, uh, that's it. Hey, <laughs> hey, no, wait, as go back real quick. I want to read the first part of my description because I, I, I address that. I address okay. that. Right. I address yeah. that. Uh, this item will blow the doors off the plushy market. <laughs> <laughs> All while being unable to open doors. <laughs> there you go. I just wanted to read the first part. You can For read the rest. For your pleasure. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. Stuffed for, oh wait. Yeah, we, Gary of Rivia. Gary of Rivia is now stuffed for your pleasure, increasing your gaming skills wow. by 100% according to sources. <laughs> you too can set your horse on fire accidentally <laughs> while spending two hours on a side quest searching for a goat when all you really wanted to find was the boobs. Gary's <laughs> <That's> life. <laughs> uh, I, I feel like x ray girl doesn't look nearly Asian enough in this plushie. It's <laughs> yeah. not very the inclusive. Next one. The yeah. next one, you know. <laughs> yeah, so that they are. I think he's linked in the description. Will be. Yep. It's, it's, it's not. Like... Fucking hell! What? <laughs> what are you doing right now? Why are you so What are you guys now? doing? Why? Because I'm wondering why I do this show, Shad. That's why. <laughs> it's you in love there. us. You and me too, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, other than that, I did not see a Zack Snyder film, nor have I seen part one, nor oh do God. I care, nor was uh, Ministry of Ungentlemanly Conduct available in Europe until the 24th on Amazon, nor did I see that. But you saw Fallout. I see something else, but you I saw, saw Fallout. Fallout. You okay. Fallout. Okay. Okay. That's good. All the right. Fallout. You saw you all the Fallout. It's crazy that Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare, which is all fucking British shit, was not available it's in so your country. It's so stupid. Wild. It's so yeah. dumb. Because uh, Amazon bought it. Amazon mm -hmm. bought the rights in Europe the international and rights, parts okay. of Asia and, and other places. And I think uh, the cinema gets a, a week, uh, a week's opportunity to make some money before it goes on um, every fucking pirated site at 4K. Oof. Right. Yeah. Instead of well, maybe releasing it in the theaters in, in the UK, where the story comes from, making some money. Uh, Amazon you know, bought it. Church Amazon, Hills. Amazon, they got the monies, you know? They what do. What could possibly go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? Layoffs? Um, uh, <laughs> yeah. Layoffs? Uh, layoffs? Layoffs? Uh, layoffs? <laughs> Talking about layoffs? <laughs> you think you know, but you we, don't know. We're just downsizing our workforce. That's all. That's not necessary. Okay. Not downsizing. It's right money. sizing. Uh, we are, what's it, what's the word that they use? We are reorgan not reorganizing. We are downsizing, retooling, retooling. 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 We are retooling our uh, oh. departments. I.e., we're getting rid of people. That's, That's well, it's like Marvel. Get a new boyfriend. Oh, Mark. She said she's retooling. <laughs> Oh, no, that's what I say when I get a new boyfriend. <laughs> wow! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Mark, Does your husband out, know that? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had to do it in a while, okay? okay. <laughs> <laughs> so but, no. the, but the that option is, is always there. Is X Girl like, <laughs> is, she, is she like on a delay? Yeah, she, she's yeah, like, okay. she's I thought it was delay. just me. Yeah. No, she, yeah. I thought she was just using traditional Japanese. Film. I was going like, say, movie <laughs> translation. <laughs> it's a I kung have fu made movie down internet. There. I don't know. Look at there. Hi, Shad. Hey, Gary. So apologies, I'll have to bounce a little early depending on how things go with the kids. But I did sit down, devote some time, and I watched uh, Oppenheimer. And, uh, you know, it's not, it's not a bad thing. <laughs> did it just release in Australia now? I don't know. Uh, but it was available. I was just like, hey, look so, at that. It's just you catch Bobby as well? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can't watch them separately. So, like, just everybody knows before the show, everybody's getting there, like, hey, how you guys doing? He pops in and goes, hey, guys, yeah, I saw Oppenheimer. We're like, okay. Is your, 
Is your notifications on Twitter? Like, how about, you know, how about Inception? <laughs> you catch Inception lately? Was, That's on my list. That is on my list. <laughs> hey, guys, I watched Batman Begins. <laughs> <laughs> I watched The Prestige. Did you know Liam Neeson is in that movie? Wow. <laughs> I just saw Metropolis. <laughs> <laughs> really old movie, Empire Strikes Back. Back. Well, hey, hey, Ryan just watched Birth of a Nation. That was for research, though. <laughs> 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 oh come on ryan it was for pleasure we all know yeah that. <laughs> well thanks shad thanks for uh my pleasure not <laughs> watching one of the five things we needed to watch this week <laughs> I, I, <laughs> not I, another one I rest in peace buster keaton fallout. in fact i watched fallout before all of you oh that's right <laughs> okay good you could talk yeah. about fallout y yes and i was yeah. calling it out as crap before anyone Good, else like the oh my god you're, you're like the hipster of fallout i have right <laughs> called it out before it was cool <laughs> sorry <laughs> mahler Oh, just in the funny. middle of Rebel Mood, he starts talking about Oppenheimer. It would be funny. <laughs> <laughs> this reminds me of that moment in Oppenheimer. Oh, fuck off, Dad. Uh, what's up, Ryan? Not much. Uh, you know, I finally got around to watching Back to the Future Part 3. You know, I just, just wanted to sit down and watch something. <laughs> Holy shit, man. <laughs> Lives up to the hype. Uh, actually, actually, I probably watched Back to the Future 3 more than either of the other two. That's why I love that shit growing up. But yeah, I'm good. I did not watch Rebel Moon, did not watch Fallout, but I did watch uh, Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. I watched Which that was yeah, perfectly fine. You know what I mean? Fun. I'm probably yeah. going to forget about it, you know, in a couple of days, mm -hmm. but I, I would advocate for more movies like that and less movies like some of the ones we've been seeing lately. So. Oh, and I, I can't, the actress is hot. The one oh, she is massively is. hot. Yeah. Unbelievably oh, hot. Yeah. yeah. She so is. That. For, some re for some reason, all those, uh, even though she's hot, all those German guys really turn on her quick. Uh, I don't know why yeah, that was. I, I but, wonder yeah. why that was. Uh, mm. Well, we'll get to it. Um, Hello, quarterback Garrett. She's black. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. Uh, no, that's not it. Uh, yes. Oh. Uh, hey, I Gary. Yeah. I'm sorry. Last week, I didn't watch the movie we were supposed to watch. So this week, I watched all three of the things we were supposed to watch. And it was horrible, except for <clears throat> Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. Uh, I did enjoy it. I kind of have the same review. It was fine. It was okay. Henry Cavill's good. Um, probably going to forget it. But at least it wasn't Rebel Moon. Uh, moon. I, right. I literally fell asleep during that movie <gasps> uh, at last at the end when all the explosions are happening all the things are happening i'm like i can't do it i i was glued I, to the screen when they were explaining <laughs> the backstories <laughs> wow i was riveted the next character is gonna say their backstory it's gonna be exactly the same oh, as the first Mahler, one Mahler summed it up perfectly <sighs> on twitter that that was freaking perfect i like yours the one from austin powers oh yeah because <laughs> that's what I it was, was a young boy uh sure and scrotum it's really quite breathtaking <laughs> <laughs> quite breathtaking uh thanks for watching that stuff garrett and not going on another live stream to not watch it while we're at fnt vegas i really appreciate i'm doing that. my part <laughs> <laughs> To infect everybody. All right. Hey, nobody was sick after that. <laughs> no. They yeah. just have AIDS. Uh, hello, <laughs> Odin. What's up? I what did, what did watch, you watch? I was able to watch both. I was able to watch Rebel Moon and also Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. And I have agreements in the same way. What the fuck okay. is going Wait, you're on time and you watched multiple things? What the fuck is happening? Next, you're going to stay till the end of the show. <laughs> yeah, but the bad news is he's going to go in one No, I'm sorry. Minute. I do have a hard out today, guys. I do have a hard out today. All right. So. No way. Can't get around that. You, know? you need to know when we end. I have a hard out at 9.26. Oh, okay. But all I can say is that, man, Netflix needs to add a two-time speed because if I have to watch... Yes. What four more of yes. these things? I need to have it on double speed because oh my gosh, one point five was not God. enough. Please, I would I advocate that also, in general. Yeah, what the I would too. Do we start calling the six part film series a trilogy? Are we just when Zack Snyder does it? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's when you have a director's cut for every one of the movies, probably. <sighs> it's one God. trilogy, just twice. Like simple math. No, but... it's a trilogy of two part movies. That's what it is. Yes. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's actually gonna be. So we're gonna get twelve? No, no. We're gonna get two more movies. <laughs> we're gonna get, we're gonna get two more movies, and they're both gonna be two parts. So that's 
That's the way I interpreted it. So, yeah, totally it's it will be six. straightforward. A scar Giver and a Child of Fire are clearly part one and two. They Obviously. just slot right in. It's, uh, it's beautiful, actually. It's really I, uh, just one that they split into two. I'm curious, who here is going to check out the extended versions? <laughs> no, Not me. No, <laughs> just severe Don't curiosity. Make us watch it again, severe please. curiosity. I've got to watch them. I thought they were going to release the extended before the sequel, and so I'm just I was. Well, this no. is I the first so too. movie, apparently. So <sighs> they come out right, in Mala? June. Yeah, the, on Disney the same Lord. day. Apparently, yeah. I think they come out in June on the same day. Thank God they're not splitting that one up. Yeah. So uh, is that going to be like eight hours long or something? Like, what are probably. they going to Probably. Yeah. Yes. Good this Lord. one was thankfully two hours. Thankfully. <laughs> Yeah. Are they going to oh. sell the wheat longer than they did in the oh, third one? Oh my god! Is there going to be like a fifth and sixth scene of slow motion wheat? Slow motion wheat. That, that was, was such awesome. a third. They had their hands in slow motion. That was the best. Part. That was such a Zack Snyder choice. Like <laughs> watching that whole. I was like, thank you for this. I knew like you'd do this. this. <laughs> I mean, we didn't need it. <laughs> for real. What's up, comics? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that um, Zack Snyder is not affiliated with creating entertaining films. No. <laughs> Hasn't been for a while. Very yeah. true. Um, Very true. I, I lost brain cells uh, watching that movie. Um, it's pretty clearly that that entire two-hour movie could have been edited down to 30 minutes and tacked onto the other movie to actually just create one film. Um, so, yeah. It, and it, it still would have been bad. <laughs> The, the thing that sucks about is I, I, I really like the concept. Um, it, it sucks that the execution is so poorly. But um, yeah. Wow. That you like sound the concept. Like Hyder at all. <laughs> you like the concept because you've seen that concept done yeah. better in like 15 other movies. Seven Samurai. Well, Go yeah, watch that I mean, I, it, Yeah. It, it, well, the, I like the idea that you have, you know, it takes place in the future and you have like these low tech worlds and then there's obviously high tech ones as well. Wait. Um, are they high tech because they're, they're, they're space interstellar space? Traveling dreadnought that goes through space vaginas is powered by coal. Yeah, and they, I know. And they I, I need saw wheat. that. I was like, "Wait a second! Is like, are you telling me this ship is actually powered by coal? It's like that is so retarded." And the it giant turns into a plasma thing. It, no, yeah. it's, it's a giant plasma face. Rifles? It's a giant face that's like puking spaghetti, and somehow that gets powered by the coal. <laughs> I, know, I saw that. I was just like, "Oh god!" Do you um, remember that this is a, a, a story? That was fucking rejected by Disney. <laughs> <laughs> Which we thought was a good sign. Yeah. <laughs> Turns out not. Never That's forget a... that. Never <laughs> forget that. The, 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 the fact that, uh... that he's getting like two other movies out of this is ridiculous because I, I, I just like, I, I can't be bothered this Wait, point. is that confirmed? Did he actually got him? Or is it just like something he wants? It's something he wants. Uh, it's uh, fucking hell. I want, problem. don't get. That's what I was told when I was a kid. Well, it's pretty apparent. I mean, they left it open for more movies, which oh, you'll for sure, yeah. Get. Well, so, after they well, killed all the white we, guys, we, yeah. we, haven't yeah. seen, <laughs> we haven't seen the destruction of Balasarius. Isn't everyone excited to see what happens to him? I find it fucking really. hilarious, by the way, that Kathleen Kennedy would have taken the script and said, "Zachary, this doesn't make sense." This is the one time I agree <laughs> with her. <laughs> hey, Kathleen Kennedy, you were right on this one. Okay. <laughs> Perhaps yeah. we treated you too harshly. <laughs> <A little> harshly. <laughs> <laughs> no, never mind. No. <laughs> all right, no. all right. Well, this is an important question then. Do you reckon it's better or worse than Rise of Skywalker? Ooh, better. I'm gonna say better. Yeah, I mean, I need to Rise pull up of Skywalker that meme is of, uh, pretty dreadful, but I need to pull up the meme of two retards fighting. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. yes. Um, but at least, at but, least Rebel Moon didn't like viciously rape a, a franchise oof. that I really loved. Yeah, yeah you know? that, that's that's the difference. Is, that's the difference. Yeah, yeah. you you'd really have to like just look at Rise of Skywalker as a film and not anything that it did with Star Wars that it just fucking raped. So. Rebel Moon is well, better because at least it just tried to rip off Star Wars instead of being yeah. Star Wars. So. I feel like in the hands of a decent editor, they could edit it down to a somewhat decent film. This I, was written as a Star Wars film. Yes, it film was. That as, Disney went, fuck off, Zach. <laughs> was, hey, there's hey. literally a scene in this movie that recreates the Emperor showing up on the Star hey, Destroyer. What was, like, the, what was the name he one. gave the lightsabers again? Oh, oh what? I forgot what it was, but those were they, totally not lightsabers. They were not completely changed. Like, like laser, did they call them laser swords? We'd never hear that in a Star Wars movie. No. So. There's an actual name that they, they were sticks. Doing. What was that? I said zip zappity sticks. Yeah, that may be. <laughs> <laughs> you know? 
<laughs> They're laser swords. Oh, no. oh, oh, at least he didn't rape Star Wars. He wanted to. He, <laughs> yeah, he tried. He wanted to. <laughs> he had the roofie like he over the drink, but couldn't make it. He gave, he gave it the old as, yeah. as, yeah. try. This is the one time the restraining order worked. Okay, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so I've just googled it because I was going to try and help out with a reference here, and I okay. just found a, a subreddit post, clearly from a Zack Snyder fan, who says, "Rebel Moon Swords are not lightsabers." <laughs> Zack is talking about the metal they're made of. He doesn't have a name for them yet, but he will. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, because these swords, they heat up apparently, which is why uh, Nemesis has like robotic arms. But all, all the, uh, the main character does is wrap it in cloth and suddenly she can wield this blade yeah. that gets really right. super wild. Wow. Like, She's the scar so giver. Dumb. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I do think that, like, and again, I only saw half of Rebel Moon Part 1, but I would watch that a 10 times out of 10 over Rise of Skywalker. Yeah. I, we have to yeah. We have to make sure we keep it fully understood rise of skywalker it's one of the worst films ever made oh, it, it is no. an awful atrocious piece it's, of shit it's, that they're just pissed. they're just it as funny off, it pissed off it even pissed off the last jedi fans like yes. they lost yeah. every it's, fucking body with this one like it was horrible and uh, i don't you know i'll take rebel moon 10 times out of 10 yes over it. Let's not lose perspective here. Let's yeah. not yeah, let's lose not, perspective. Let's, let's not lose perspective. Okay, I didn't uh, hello. I hello. Like Exit. Oh, wait. Wait, people. Exit. Goo. Oh, wait, I got to restart it. Oh. There we go. Now you can hello. go. Hello. It's I so watched... weird how behind she is. What the yeah. fuck? I don't know. Should I go? Should I leave and come back? No, you should do uh, it. This is so Asian. Funnier. It actually it's works. Way. It's funnier this oh, way. Oh, okay, cool. I watched um, Fallout. <laughs> <laughs> and... <laughs> Are you an ass right now? What the hell? <laughs> and five hey, people bro. just died in a mass bombing. Full screen. Full screen. Full screen. All right, hold on. Full screen. Now her video is Catching up. Oh my god. Now we're it's all like having to squint P. and impersonate X ray girl to see X ray girl. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I watched the Kill Bill 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 on that. Two. There we go. <laughs> X ray girl. You need, it's it, old you need it. No, X ray movie. girl. Put her back up. Put her back up. X ray girl. X ray girl. Say Godzilla. Say Godzilla. Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a full two seconds on. <laughs> I'm okay with it. It's fine. Story much more authentically Asian. It's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, back for more Fucking punishment. Uh, the long giver, Mahler, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Hello. Hey, I found out a cool. It's called the Cryptian Blade. Ah, the Crypto I, I, uh, Blade. Crypt, I don't even know. Uh, there's there's a screenshot where it's it's uh it's title its proper title is used. It's not called the Light Giver. It's uh it's oh, the Cryptian mm. Blade trills and the yeah. Noble Garples. <laughs> the Noble Garples. <laughs> what? Yes, of course. The zip zappity it's, blade. It, I told you. Like the uh, <laughs> it's like the descriptive text or whatever. Oh. Yes, yeah, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, noble garble. Uh, no one right hang on, hang on. I, what is he doing with the Cryptian blade? You don't need to know. Okay? Getting he's getting his back dark? blown out. Yeah. Obviously, getting stabbed through the noble who's garbling. Yes. All right? <laughs> spoiler! Spoiler! You spoiled the whole fucking movie. Goddamn. Well, I, mean, I, have, I don't know. You guys are in luck because I've seen Oppenheimer, Back to the Future Three, Metropolis, <laughs> Fallout, Rebel Moon, and Citizen Kane. So I think we're ready to go. What about Birth of a Nation, Mahler? Uh, seven times at least. Okay. <laughs> there you I go. always pop that on just before Lord of the Rings marathon. You know. <laughs> hey, I mean, look, I've been pl I've been playing Mega Man three and I watched Breaking Bad, so I, I know where shit's going on with Shad. So we get yeah, we're on the same page. Uh, we're just mm -hmm. watching old shit at this point because everything else sucks. Donkey balls. Uh, yes. That's essentially where we are at this point in time. I so. I, uh, I did watch like five seasons of white collar in the past um <laughs> there are like two weeks, shows so, yeah. out there that are fucking bangers that you should be watching gentlemen and shogun gentlemen. the gentleman yeah. and shogun Sugar is great fuck it forget fallout forget it watch those two shows they're <clears throat> far superior they're actual tv shows shogun is the shit i've seen two episodes of fallout and i don't like it <gasps> jeremy let me explain why jeremy doesn't like it uh, and it'll get clipped probably, but <laughs> Jeremy doesn't like it because the woman isn't getting raped. No, 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 um, no. no. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> 
We're going to make a higher quality. I, I Would you like to explain yourself? Today, that when you <laughs> have we this, talked about this on the phone. Did. We you talked about smoking, this on the phone. You have, a, you have a smoking hot girl walking around in a, in a wasteland. In a, in a wasteland all by herself. She's clearly very clean. She's very beautiful. And no one is attacking her. No one is raping her. What the fuck is this? Like, really? and then like at the beginning, she he, asked, he like gently asked her to come. He was like, "Hey, you could stay oh, with yeah, me. Yeah. Like, like, why you don't you just stay with, with me? me? You can, you know, I, I'm dying. I won't. It won't be long." And it's like, yeah. no, no, no. That's not how that would go at all. It's so stupid. And then with her beating the hell out of the guy that she married in the first episode, and like how that whole thing was dumb as hell. It's just stupid. I have questions about whole, her, like, her character for sure. It's, yeah, it's it's beautifully shot. At least you know, what I've seen, it's beautifully shot. It looks cool it has a nice vibe and a nice feel to it but nothing feels natural or realistic in how they are portraying the characters but what all. about the We're destruction of the wait about the destruction yeah. of the ncr and the naacp by the bos and fo nv <laughs> You know, you joke, but that is a serious sticking point to a game called coming out. Yeah. Uh, right that's here. right. Yeah. yeah, I I think that uh Dude, I we think have- that explains why the suit wasn't form fitting. If it'd been form fitting like all of us wanted it to be, she would have got raped more. It was a <laughs> conscious decision. Um, it's tactical. Not, gonna lie, not the conversation tactical. I was expecting to have about yeah. Paul, you know what? Well, I, I didn't watch I gotta work what I got. Sure, the welcome, but... <laughs> Seriously. My problem with her character was like, okay, is she a naive girl that w- spent her whole life in this like idealized world where she like doesn't have to fight or do anything? Or is she a tough girl that could fight and cut off a guy's head and hold it in her hands totally fine and not be squirmish at all. Like her characterization is like back and forth constantly through the whole show. And, well, she's the she's the least worst part of the show. The no, more she, I think yeah. about no, 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 Walton, sorry, not Walter. Walton Goggins is the whole show. He every time he's on the screen, whether it's on uh, in the present day, i.e., Fallout, uh, or in his past scenes, uh, he's excellent. He dominates, dominates mm-hmm. every single mm-hmm. thing. Yep. Every, when he's together with the main cast, the three protagonists, dominates them. Dominates Lucy. Dominates Maximus. Uh, he's That's easily what wanted best. to see more of. Domin- <laughs> Dominates Maximus. <laughs> Dominates. Uh, by the way, Maximus, like a character. Dominates Maximus. Maximus is one of the worst characters Agreed. I have ever seen on in TV. And I yes. actually this is the part where they clip out and call you a racist. So hi yeah. Twitter, go ahead. Oh, it's definitely because he's black. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know. Well, no, I do know. Uh, I I think they they don't think he's bad but uh, i'm hoping that they do realize that this guy is hideous he's a bad an person. hideous human being every single solitary thing that maximus does in a show is self-serving even down to saving lucy he saves lucy because he wants his dick to explode he wants his dick to explode in her that's the only reason every yeah. single solitary thing that he does is horrific horrible disgusting disgraceful lucy i i had hopes for lucy i think she started off pretty well and then as the show got on she mm. sort of just really drifted off a cliff to, to mediocre and every time walton goggins came on the screen as the ghoul i was a happy boy so i good. was a happy I mean, boy because he was superb he acts the role well but i hated his character he was a scumbag he was an absolute like, ghoul. People to slavery. And some of us. He's a ghoul. Not all ghoul, buddy. Not all uh, ghoul. All right. I wanted him to die. And... It's about it's about his loss of humanity. That's yes. what it was about. We yeah. saw a person with a lot of humanity and a lot of morals and and and, and beliefs uh, post fallout, and then we see him, you know, two hundred and something years later, which he's lived, and in those two hundred and sixty odd years, uh, this guy has lost his humanity. He hasn't uh, lived those years, though. He was, uh, he was buried for a large time. Periodically, event. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Some of it. But it he's, 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 on how had, uh, he's had a mm-hmm. life there, clearly. But he's also he's not lost his humanity. He's looking for his family. I don't yeah, but he's he lost his, his humanity family. in the process. That's the only thing that he's now being driven by. And even though he's a horrible character, absolutely, Shad. 
in terms of how how he deals with people, but he's interesting. He's a horrible he's, person, oh, yeah. but he's a great character. And he's he, yeah, he yeah, yeah. yeah. interesting he to watch. Well. Uh, yeah, but the more I think about Fallout, the TV series, the worse it gets and the dumber it gets. Mm. This show is actual dog crap. Oh, he got mm. real dumb. He got real fucking dumb. If you don't Just, think about anything, the show's great. Yeah, great. <laughs> if you don't, if you literally don't yeah. think about any of the motivations of the characters or the storyline or anything, you're like, oh, it does well, seem like pictures. it does seem I like a lot of watch it more now just because you guys don't like it. Uh, uh, <laughs> a, a lot of normies seem to like it a lot, and a lot of fans of the game seem to hate it from what I've seen so far. Um, yeah, fans are split pretty hard on this one. In yeah, terms yeah. Of yeah. I, I didn't, I didn't mm. hate it. That would be a harsh thing to say because there's aspects that I like. I thought it was beautifully yeah. shot. I thought the acting was okay for the most part. Um, again, Walton Goggins was just bueno. Uh, Kyle MacLachlan was bueno when he was a well, before the end of <laughs> Jesus Christ uh, when they when they made White Man bad. But it was beautifully shot. the 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 sets were amazing. The costumes were superb. Uh, everything superficial was was excellent. It was really nice to see Michael Emerson um, in the show, even for a little bit even if we got his head for most of it, uh, because uh, it was it was great to see that reunion between Jonathan Nolan Matt and him. Barry. They were both from a uh, person of interest, of course. Matt Berry was awesome. Matt yeah. Berry was um, awesome. Um, the the, the Moses, uh, whatever he's called, the the son, uh, the brother of, of Lucy, I thought I was going to hate him, and I ended up really, really liking him, and I was so yeah. disappointed by the absolute fucking wet fart of, of Vault 31 reveal. Yep. Um, which just which just really deflated me because I was really getting into his character and, and they sort of just ran him into a brick wall uh with with nothing really to do. And, and, and so there were there were characters that I liked in the show. Uh, there were character and there were characters that I thought I'd like that sort of just tapered off. And then there were just awful characters. And it it did seem to be tonally all over the place. Yeah. It didn't want it to be a silly Billy, squilly Billy Willies. Oh my or gosh! It to take it, yeah, or if it yeah. wanted to take itself seriously, which made it very difficult to actually connect with Lucy. At least Walton Goggins, the ghoul, was a consistent character. Mm -hmm. Lucy's brother was a consistent character. Lucy wasn't a consistent character. We didn't know whether or not to laugh with her, even though it wasn't particularly funny, but they were trying to goof it. Whether she's just goofy, uh, whether or not she's naive, whether or not she's actually tough, whether or not she... So but the ending was just not a payoff for me. You know, shooting... Are we, are we spoilering or not? Yeah. Oh, sure. Go okay. for it. It's, Shoot, it's shooting, shooting her ghoul mum at the end, who I don't know how on earth that thing was alive, but whatever. Uh, shooting a ghoul mum and being all tearful that white man bad, her dad's actually bad guy. Yeah. Uh, it, that payoff didn't work for me. It didn't oh, work for me because we've been seeing them just like goofing and mucking about. As all the payoffs were unbelievably retarded. The plan for Vault Tech, completely retarded. The reveal of the vaults of what's happening, you know, with Vault 31, <clears throat> absolutely retarded. And then the, the plan of the, uh, you know, NCR lady was unbelievably retarded. It, it was all just completely. Well, can you, can you, uh, Shana, can you ask, answer me a question? What was her plan? To give okay. cold fusion, which is actually heat, not fucking good. Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> cold fusion is not cold. Uh, you know, to give cold fusion so everybody in the, in, in California gets electricity, but it's actually only electricity for a certain distance, and Why it's only electricity for a certain distance. Of that network. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, Nothing exists. Please there. explain to me how the Griffith Ex Observatory was able to connect to all the transformers and power lines of Southern California <laughs> and light it up. And how did everything just work? And how did shit not just blow up? And uh, yeah. yeah, how did the, did everybody leave their lights on? <laughs> it, it was. Yeah. It got hit by a yeah. nuclear <laughs> fucking bomb. The transformers would be gone, so she had to replace all the transformers. Yeah. Yeah. And, Long and all the lines and everything. Yeah. Man, she yeah. was amazing despite the fact that she murdered uh, a bunch of people in Vault 33, right? Vault 33, whatever, 32, 33. Yeah, yeah no, 33. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, she came in and, like, really when you're watching bad. the first episode, it's like, I like how they're setting this up, you know, but uh, I'm pretty yeah. sure Brown Woman's going to end up being a misunderstood 
uh, hero, oh, and Kyle McLaughlin's going to be the bad guy because he's a white dude. A surprise. I knew it was going to be like not a cohesive story when she was like, choose her or these people. And then he's like, okay, I choose her. And she's like, all right, well, these people can also go. After oh, and that is <laughs> after she said to you give him an ultimate to, to, to slaughter everyone, and she oh, so and I like also the first episode like leads you to believe that the rest of people in thirty three are dead, like she's killed them, and the explosion is going to kill them all because she's like they're all going to die with this explosion, and they're all back, and they well, almost yeah, like it, multiply. There's like more and more every every episode. It only really scratches up the rube. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah just that area. There's some rocks. But, but we, we, uh, we have this awful bit right, so we're meant to believe that- I'm going to seal them inside this vault! Yeah, which is, is that what she said? I thought which she is just how they the door live. at that point. No, they were trying to. She was trying to seal off Vault Thirty Two, which I imagine was to prevent them from getting to Vault Thirty One. Oh, but dude. I think I'm also giving them way too much credit. <laughs> way too much. I, I, I can lay this out if you want. I did it on Open Box. It is a fucking tangled mess. And by the time you complete Episode Eight, most people say like, "Oof, Episode Eight was the bad one." It's like, no, Episode Eight reveals how bad the entire story yes. was. Jesus, because they <laughs> did not know what they were fucking doing. Yeah. Um. If Moldave is supposed to be this awesome hero of the people who's spreading freedom and power to the world, the California specifically, right? And the, her plan is, I need to go to Vault 33 to get Hank, because he has the yeah. code. And I need Wilzig to get from the Enclave to me, because he has the last piece of the Cold Fusion tech. It's like, okay. Goes all the way over. Luckily, and she she raids 32, and she finds, oh, everyone's dead. Yeah. Wow. That's lucky. Wow. <laughs> if they weren't. Oh, hold on, stop, 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 you, stop, you there, stop you there for a second, Morley. And we're led to believe that all of uh, Vault 32 murdered each other and killed themselves because they discovered that there were actually Vault Tech employees in Vault 31 that were um, in training cryostasis. Them, training them to be managers. And that's what, definitely so a cause that? for everyone to move. Like, I was expecting some insanity sense, virus or, or or some type of weird mental manipulation that drives them insane. No, no, it's just that the, the, there was people in their vault that came from another vault. Yeah, pre -war. The, the people the people from Vault 31 actually are from the past in the Vault Tech employees. Well, uh, so instead of opening oh, up the man, vault door I, and leaving, they just... I better take a fork, it, put it yeah. inside of a light socket. Everybody, every <laughs> single one of them killed themselves or murdered each other because of it. Well, or, I mean, or, to be fair, double, double they, they were going to be lorded you know. over by middle management. I'd probably do the same thing. <laughs> you know, was that was 31 the HR department? It was such a yeah. boring reveal to that mystery. You went to a vault, everyone's dead. You're like, why? And it's I was like, like well, they found it? out that instead, instead of just being in the vault waiting for the civilization to come back to the surface, they found out that they were being trained to take over civilization once it was back. It's like, okay. That's yeah. I mean, you but know, if you told no, me that, I'd be like, "Huh." We like to believe that there's a mystery. Hey, have you seen that every single overseer that we've had has actually come from a trade with Vault Thirty One? What is this mystery? This mystery so strange. This mystery so weird. Oh yeah. By the way, we have a fucking song about voting in somebody from Vault Vault Thirty One as the overseer. <laughs> Yeah, and by the way, they but do it's trade a mystery. with 32, right? Where they see each other and they trade. They never see the people from 31, ever. That's not a little bit strange to you guys? <laughs> I like that they treat the brother as though he's really smart, but there's like so many clues he doesn't <clears throat> even piece. It's like a, there's so many fucking confusing things that happen that like don't make any sense. But anyway, if Moldava yeah. is going to get to 33 through 32, why didn't she just go straight to 33? Exactly. That's right. I know. Uh, and also, her plan was to capture the dad by releasing her goons to murder everyone, which could have likely killed could the dad. Could easily have murdered the dad. Yeah. Well, yeah. Chad, not only could they have murdered the dad, they could have murdered Rose, the daughter of the yes. woman that she said was clever, funny, caring, curious, and wonderful. You know, oh gosh, and I see all those those uh, attributes in you, her daughter. And it's like, so why were you letting people kill me? Exactly. She's and like. Mm. Yeah, kill her like she got married with a psychopath that it was intent on murdering nice her. <laughs> so why why didn't they just ugh, Jesus Christ? I mean, the, first of all, they they had Rose's bloody um, pit boy, so they could have just gone to the front of Vault Thirty Three and opened Which, it. Which, by the way, has, makes way more sense. Why does a pit boy for Thirty Three open Thirty Two? I yeah. have no idea. Did because because Kyle came from Vault Thirty One. To vault 33 so where does vault 32 even fucking come into this 
Also, I love that they're so irradiated that it sets off the pit boy and no one bothered to check that when they were coming nope. in. No one bothered to check. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's true. Okay. Yeah. When they introduced them, well, they were immediately sketchy and nobody yeah. fucking questions this. They have this tattoos all over oh, yeah, them. Well, they're all they disheveled. Have, there's, there's a built-in excuse for this. Comics is called that they're retarded. Everyone's <laughs> fucking retarded. <laughs> Everybody's dumb. <laughs> My bad, Mahler, you were correct, sir. It's just like the video game where everybody gets retarded in that. It's just retarded. But the thing is, like, whenever something smart happens or interesting, people will reward it for that. They won't say, like, oh, that's weird. He's supposed to be retarded. I mean, <laughs> seriously, you break down, every, look at every, any plot in this entire show, and you will find absolute retardation. Uh, just the random, the, uh, uh, the doctor running in to Lucy in the middle of uh, Los Angeles. You know, kind of a big area, Southern California. Yeah, and just and being like, like, why did you start a fire? We saw her. Yeah, exactly. You, you know, that's going to bring the big <laughs> bugs. Well, and then that, that fucks everything up because, uh, and this is something I brought up on Open Bar that honestly, I wouldn't expect anybody to have remembered because it's such a specifically small part of one scene in episode, I want to say like six or seven. We find out Moldava paid a guy called Rufus who paid a guy called Tommy who paid a girl called Old Ma or Old Ma June, I think, to get... Wilzig, the scientist man from the Enclave, all the way over to the observatory. Why? She literally walked with her raiders from Vault 33 to the observatory, which is the exact journey that uh, Lucy <laughs> takes. <laughs> what the fuck was the point of that? <laughs> uh, oh, like, do they that... not sit down and look at the script and go like, okay, these don't make sense here. Like, let's rewrite. Let's like, well, they just go with first draft. Uh, the evidence that they write this as they go along is that he, uh, the the ghoul fires 30 shots into Maximus's power armor, and then in episode 8, he uses one shot to kill a power armor suit at a time. Yes. Yeah, because because later, after that fight, they then establish that the P, uh, the um, 45, the P45 armor, uh, the, T, the T45 armor has a flaw in the chest, uh, which he, because we see that from the past when he's having the discussion with the guy yeah. in the past, because he used to have a T-45 when he was fighting. And then later we get to see him again and go, oh, I wonder if the floor still uh, applies to the T-60 power armor. Yes, it does. So you're just like, why was that fight then? Why was that that whole fight in the first place? That fight was so fucking retarded, dude. Because they hadn't set that up. As we well, really the thing, it's called up. continuity. It's where you, you write you. something, and then later on mm -hmm. you're like, I need something else now. And it's like, but what about the stuff you said before? It's like, that was before. This is now. <laughs> that doesn't matter. It's retarded. I don't, you know, I don't know about you guys. When I am desperate for someone to save my life, I, I think the best way to do it is to threaten that their life will <laughs> end, and I will destroy them if they save my life. Just yeah, yeah. complete. That logic yeah. right everyone's there. been uh picking up on that moment as one of the worst bits of dialogue just for the fact that you know he's like gosh i'm, I'm bleeding out I, get, get me a stim pack and as soon as you do you're gonna be in trouble buddy as soon yeah. as you yeah. get me that stim pack you're yeah, gonna be gonna 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 die. You're, you're gonna, gonna die. you up by your lungs buddy if you stim Dude. pack me you're gonna be dead he's like i think i'm not gonna and he's like what yeah, mm. yeah. Oh, so badly it. done it's so like, I, I stopped oh. watching at, at episode four, so I didn't get all the way through. W with Maximus, it seemed like his character arc was going to be like, I idealize the Brotherhood of Steel, and this knight is like his first inkling that it's not what he thought it was, but he still wants to kind of uphold those morals. But then he immediately, when he gets the, the squire... He just falls right what, into um, being an asshole like the knight that he didn't respect. And that actor like, was not good, by the way, that played Maximus. He's just no, terrible. No. He's not he convincing had, at all. He had, he had a good, like, he could act when he didn't speak. Like, he had, like, a pretty good yeah, facial expressions, but once he opened his mouth, it was like... <laughs> they, called it, they called them background actors. <laughs> yeah, it was like, it's like, once you open your mouth, right, none of the line deliveries worked. His voice was way high, and he it didn't, didn't act fit. when he did. Wait, what, I know, like, he's got, like, those... I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Black actor. Yeah. Yeah. Point, by the way, are you saying that, like, he lost... He would have been encouraged to become a member of the Brotherhood of Steel because he was saved as a kid by one of the Power Armor guys. And then he realizes that like it's filled with people taking advantage of the system, right. and then he wants to uphold it himself is a way better story. That's not what we got. <sighs> you, you know how we know he was saved by a kid, Mahler? Uh, they showed us uh, six times uh, the fact yes. that he yes. walked out of a <laughs> refrigerator in, in the same episode, you know? just in case, just in case you <laughs> forgot. <laughs> 
I think uh, I think that gets trumped though by the uh, the scene where he fights a bunch of guys who beat him the fuck up and don't kill him, and then he fights them again, and they put him into his armor to beat him. But unfortunately, that means he can only beat them. only yeah. Amazon would drop something as a binge model with a previously on every fucking episode. Every episode. <laughs> every episode. Every episode. What are you doing? Oh, which probably tells you that. Well, I, I guess not necessarily, but I'm surprised it was dropped all at once. It was not supposed to be. That, I that fully was, expected they them changed to do their two mind. Three on episodes it. Yeah. and then, you know, weekly it out. I wonder, like, so to me, again, from the outside looking in, I feel like the reception has been a lot better than people thought it would be. Yes. Uh, yes. Overall. Yeah. Um, and I, I don't know if you guys feel the same way. If you felt watching it that is better than you expected it to be based on what we'd seen and based on what we'd heard. But. It's well, already, they already gave it the old season two uh, renewal, which a lot you know, of people, that happens just to push. So we'll it see it in two a years. Lot of, a, lo a lot of people have said, and again, I'm only two episodes in, but a lot of people said that that they would have given up on it after a couple of episodes, but it got better for them as it went along. That's um, not for me. So, um, but I'm fast, just saying. Bro. So I guess my 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 reasoning for that is, is maybe that could be why they decided to go from the weekly to dropping it all at <clears> once <throat> because of the back you know the mm. all, all of the feedback they were getting where people were saying like uh you really need to watch all of it together i don't know but i mean it is doing well and people do like it that's that just still a, makes that's, no that's, sense because as it goes out weekly people would say if it genuinely got better then people would say that and people would jump back in uh maybe what, what just, doesn't make sense is when a squire who's a woman is a trans character on hrt which was just awful to see somebody fucking defiling the body a little like mustache that. Uh, who, yeah, little Tash, you know, who, who we yeah, find out yeah. later put a razor blade in their own boot to stop <laughs> them from becoming an, yeah. Let's, stop them, let's to think stop about them the messaging. An, dude, 41 <laughs> <percent, laughs> so okay? I mean, you know, you know what, you know what she could have also done to not, not get the job? Just turn it down and say, just, yeah, yeah say no. just turn say it no. down. But it said, the trans person goes to self harm. I mean, who could have seen that coming? <laughs> so, mm. so, so that person statistics. Then, so <laughs> Maximus, Maximus then gets promoted, does yeah. all his horrible shit, comes back to the Brotherhood with his fake head, then is saved from execution uh, oh, because he's oh, going to save him. The, which was also horseshit, by the way. Then goes into battle against the NRC, uh, and and then. When he arrives and, and gets knocked out by Cal McLachlan, by the way, and does fuck all, when the it's rest promoted. of them come into the room and he's now he's now awake and conscious, the, the, the squire trans, transsexual suddenly proclaims him Knight Maximus. Sorry, when did you get that fucking uh, yeah, promotion he, he, to be able to knight somebody in yeah, the, what the in hell? The he spends the whole season failing and getting promoted. That's what happens yes. in almost every back of a season. So he's failing upwards then. Yep. Yeah, he's and still, he knows he, he's going to fail upwards. He's he doesn't know the whole the time. DEI still exists I mean, in the hey, <laughs> hey, The writers, they're just writing what they know. Okay? Just Clearly. They know. Yeah, I mean, uh, but this is my problem with it. Where if I see, I when you can feel diversity on the screen through boom. the storytelling, mm. it's distracting. It's really and that distracting. Is, that is my that was my problem when I fucking saw uh, Rogue fucking one. It's obvious that they went out of their way to not cast a fucking white person on the rebellion side. It's just obvious, and when you can see that in the storytelling. So when I start watching this, I see diversity all over the fucking place because that's the emphasis they're wanting to put. Hey, we're not racist. We have not white dudes in this show fuck you i don't care about that and nobody else does either it's obvious that that's what they're doing and it drives me crazy and i lose interest when i see that that is at the forefront of the storytelling and they are doing that in this show you can ignore it if you want but it is yeah. happening no, as you're talking about the assault on the NCR from Brotherhood of Steel, he's explicitly yeah. doing it to get back to Lucy. I love that yes. when they arrive, they just stop blowing it up. <laughs> like, oh yeah. well, hopefully Lucy doesn't hopefully fucking she doesn't die. die. <laughs> <laughs> and then of course you have a room where Walton Goggins kills everyone in it except Maximus for no reason at all. It's just like, yeah, he makes it out. He doesn't even have armor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, you know, I, I don't know about you guys, but I thought like the lesson in economics that they gave through Voltex oh. plan was incredible. That oh, to, yeah. uh, to secure oh, no. their market share, they will literally nuke the market and destroy the world. Yeah. and kill when all their customers. Quotes, yeah, so kill, yeah. 
fucking god. There's no two ways about it. She says we gotta get a true monopoly by killing everyone. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Are, are, are they <laughs> suggesting that Vault Tech is the one who started the war? No, oh, no. 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 Yes, they, they, they did. did. No, no, that's they, the they, Todd, Todd Howard the confirmed that China still attacked first. This okay. happened after, but just right after. That's his oh, little no, his so band aid on it was going so like no 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 it still happened the way you guys started it. Well, the murderer went out to the door. The the murderer knocked at the door of the victim and then opened the door, realized that the victim they were about to murder was already murdered, and went fuck. Damn it! Whether or not you beat me to it. Uh, whether or not Voltec drops says. whatever bomb at whatever time, their logic in the room of fat cat capitalists was if we blow up everybody, then they'll need our vaults, and yeah. that's where we'll get our stock rise from, which that's is absolutely which is not stupid. Even big brain, so, big brain all your move. shareholders are dead, currency is dead, uh, society, <laughs> yeah, literally, is, dead. society is, dead. is dead, everything's fucking dead. Yeah, oh I mean, my the, god. The man. line explicitly is we will win the, uh, the game of capitalism and make America great. And it's like, how the uh, fuck do you, does that work when you don't have an economy? How does that make any fucking sense at all? That's not even what they do, because the whole thing with vault Tech is that each vault is an experiment. And, and an experiment, I don't remember why yeah. they did that, but it's like, they're a bunch of evil fuckers, no, but no. they're not well, like... Well, they explain it trying to at the end. Everyone, com comics, they explain it at the end. They have the, their, their, uh, the heads of all the companies in this one room, right? And yeah. uh, they said, hey, we own all these vaults, but we'll give you... Well, we will give you a bunch. You run your experiments, but we'll still drop the bombs on ourselves. Like and that. Gary, I really want to stress this is not Austin Powers where it's no, filled with. It a bunch looks of like it though. <laughs> yeah. No, it's it's as like it's as silly, but they treat it seriously. They have no. Walton Goggins listening to this conversation, no. and he's like losing his mind, being like, "No, my wife. Like, how could she possibly say that?" And she's making a speech about how this is all motivated by a love for her family and the desperation to protect those that matter, and that we're going to fix civilization. I was just like, "This is a joke. This is going to be." I, I saw yeah. that while I was waiting for somebody to go, Scott. Like when that that group of them are laughing at Austin Powers one, the, the laugh just keeps going until they yes, yeah. the, <laughs> yes. <sighs> and, and you know what? Like even if Todd Howard tries to say that it was really um trying to steal everything like that, this show is explicit that it's Vault Tech that dropped those bombs first. Like they may get very clear. They certainly put that in in like the minds yes. of the audience. That's okay. definitely what I, I want to go about. Don't get me wrong. I think they absolutely intended to do this, and then Todd Howard is just trying to fix it. He's trying to go. Oh no no no! It still happened the way you Th this you think it did. Yeah, this, whatever. This is written. Yeah. Uh, well, the showrunners are from Westworld. Lisa Joy, Jonathan Nolan, uh, and Marvel, dude, and, and dude. a writer from Captain Marvel, and oh, a writer God. from Captain Marvel. <laughs> So you shouldn't be surprised at all. Season two will probably be a horrible disaster. Let's oh. not forget Westworld, one of the best first seasons of television ever. If they had just ended it right there, they had no plan at all. And it ended up getting unceremoniously canceled uh, and removed from the platform. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad. Yeah. Hey, uh, hey, so there, watch hey, Fallout while you can. Says he's going to finish that. He's they going to finish that. They removed it completely. Like yeah. Westworld one, they Chris Ben Watt it. They they, just, they, they they did <laughs> they they did it to license it to like they, to peak uh to Tubi or whatever but uh, yeah, okay. easy free so they didn't willow it right they didn't just put the white off yeah what was the main event of Shh. <laughs> yeah uh, I imagine everyone's favorite quote here was uh I'm not a communist that's just a label they give to people oh, who aren't insane dude when, when uh, I got the context of that I wanted to know the context they don't want to jump the gun. People have told me that quote, but I wanted to see the context of it because, you know, there, there could have been a complication around that and it could have been a necessary line and blah, blah, blah. And then when, when it got dropped, I was like, oh, fuck off. Who, who fucking says the line? Oh, well, the, so the, the woman the, from the NCR. The, the lady NCR. who said it, right? I want to be clear. She is a monster in terms of the events of the show, but the show does not know this. It gives her a hero's death at the end. Yeah. Yes, it does. She uh, freaks out with her best friend while giving yep. power and freedom to the, the her best friend that she kept alive and dead yeah. and suffering, <laughs> which was yeah. Lucy's mom. You know. Yep. Yep. Who, who, by the way, who uh, Lucy, after going through everything oh. to find her father to bring her back, this woman says one fucking thing, says one fucking story to her out of nowhere. She knows nothing about her. She has no attachment to her other than she came in the vault and massacred people. She mm -hmm. suddenly goes, I believe everything that you've just told me. 
What a cunt! <laughs> uh, and Lucy's mom was probably her girlfriend. Just want to point that out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, and also, mm. if anyone wants to say that when she says, I'm not a communist, that that's the show trying to say she's literally not a communist. No, she says that at a gathering of communists. Okay? Yes. <laughs> like, she is a communist, but she's trying to say it's just a mean word that people call those who are well, like, crazy. Like, we, we don't need to. It's, it's pretty obvious. They lampoon capitalism again and again and again and again and again. What do they, like, do to be critical of communism? They have nothing, apparently old... If you remember uh, Gary's episode one, maybe two, where they say the best writer on their show is fired because uh, he was a commie. It's like yes. the best yeah. writer was a commie. Yeah. Okay. And then they're like, people don't want the character of the sheriff to kill people. And then they show the clip of him doing it. And he's like, you commie son of a bitch and shoots the guy. And it's like, yep. this is the references we get for that. And then, of course, she's like the communist leader, according to many people in the show. And she's the hero of the story, uh, according to the show. It, I, like I said, I think she's a monster. I, I love, love how the show uh, communist though criticizes capitalism while being on uh, Amazon on a trillion dollar uh, a <laughs> yeah. trillion dollar platform adapting a game that has seventy five sequels. Well, it's it's I, champagne seventy six. What it is? Well, and for the record, you can criticize any of these fucking things with good writing. It's just that all of this was correct. Pathetic. Correct. Like watching these scenes was embarrassing. I can't believe that any of these people were like, "I want to make more money." It looks like Vault Tech stock is going down. It's like, ah, oh, yes, but we could kill everyone. It's like, Wait, yeah, that'll oh. make us a lot of money by <laughs> destroying money and people. Yes, that yes, works. That's great. And then you have someone being like, uh, "It's satire, bro." <laughs> Uh, okay. Well, I mean, th there is a element of satire to follow. Absolutely, but, but it has yeah. to be good satire. Satire, well, satire, satire, satire needs to, to be has to be good. Has to be smart. Satire yes. is a very difficult thing to pull off. You have to be very intelligent, clever, and you have to write comedy, uh, which you know a Captain Marvel writer would write unintentional comedy, but not intentional comedy. Well, what I've yeah. gotten, so I'm, Black I've Girl played, Man. I've played yeah. Fallout New Vegas three and four. Uh, I didn't play the the ones before. I intend I intend to now uh, go back. But what I've gotten from a lot of the the fans of Fallout is that the games were a satire of both left and right politics and what it what it, those things can do in the extremes. And what it seems in the show is that it just picked one side. Obviously, because yeah. we live in current fucking day. They picked one side Current to satire. Day, yeah. Someone else said that a few times. Well, I mean, it, it's a satire of the Cold War, and, and they basically, instead of using Current Russia, fucking day. The Chinese. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, quarterback. I could no, no, you so, say current day. I think as I don't care who says it now. You're boring. <laughs> That's yeah. what I'm saying. As far as it's, it's, it's just satire, so lazy. Not, satire is not a binary of just it's on or off, and then it's good or bad if it's on or off. It's like no, there's mm. quality of satire. We all agree on this. I don't know yes. why Fallout's getting this fucking free pass where. It has like shitty writing throughout, but we go, yeah, but it's a satire. It's like, right. we can do better it's than a, that, can't so we? So satire is non-binary? The Naked Guns is satire. Yes. Well, yeah, yeah, the, the society of... is a satire. You I don't know if people the... realize, but like Hot Fuzz satirizes action and cop movies. Yes. What? It's it brilliant. It's like, it's yeah. so well written. And it's like, you don't go like, yeah, it's shit, but it's a satire. You're like, no. Mm. Yeah, Brian, you were going to say That's something? Um, it was gonna just be a stupid fucking joke, and it came. <laughs> <laughs> I would. I'm down to hear it anytime. <laughs> oh, the American Society of Magical Negroes was supposed to be a satire. <laughs> um, That's what they said a million times. Yeah. What did, did what so. did that movie make? What did that make? Uh, Two million, million dollars. Two point yeah. yeah. four. Two point four million. Yep. Yeesh. Listen, enough talking about these things. I want to hear what Shad has to say about Oppenheimer. <laughs> <laughs> I actually quite enjoyed Oppenheimer. Look, look, I thought the nudity was unneeded, but that was probably my own I, I agree with that. It's, it's, it's meant right? to I, make I, you I, feel I, uncomfortable. Yeah, I don't I agree with that, that at all. I, yeah. I, 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 but other than that, it actually an incredibly well made film. The pacing actually kept me engaged throughout. I really enjoyed. Hey, Shad, it was taking the fucking piss, mate. Oh, was it? Oh, they they should have uh, they should have given Shad the Middle East version that just like, <laughs> like CGI's a black dress around Florence right. Pugh's nipples. Yeah. Yeah. That's the one I needed. Uh, but actually, on that note, guys, I do have to bounce. The kids are awake and already making heaps of noise. So uh, real hey. quick, Shad, did you think it was the best movie of the year last year? Well, it, obviously, from mm. everything you saw last year, because I think Godzilla minus one is significantly I, better. I but can't remember all uh, the films that came out last year, so it's hard for me to say. But Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, Iron Claw, Ant Man uh, three, Iron Claw's good. Iron Claw's Ooh. good. Yeah, but Godzilla minus Name one was banger. the best movie I thought yes, last it was. year. And it wasn't even close.
I mean, infinitely better than Barbie. That's what I'll say about that. Well, one. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Barbie. I, I, I very much enjoyed Oppenheimer, though. So. Barbie. Yeah. All right, guys. I will Take it easy, Shad. All right, man. Shad. Later, later, man. Did you throw a going. shrimp on the Barbie? I, I, I know you <laughs> could talk about Fall Out all day long, okay. Mahler, and I, and I could, too. But it's time. I could because it's the only thing I fucking watched. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait, 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 wait. Before, before the end of the conversation, as do you recommend the show? Uh, absolutely not. Okay, that was just clearing up. <laughs> it, 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 uh, I, I was so disappointed because I did think the first episode had potential. I gave it six out of ten. I thought the first episode had potential, and uh, I did actually really like the setup of Vault Thirty Two and, and what was going on. And then every payoff was. Dog shit. Yeah. Wait, Absolute so, dog shit. Did, did you say you gave the first episode a 6 out of 10 or the whole series? Uh, the first episode is 6 out of 10. Okay, okay. Yeah. I was going to say, so, if you give something a 6 out of 10... Uh, in retrospect, that. episode 1 is like just, just significantly worse now, though, right? Then you know what everyone was uh, doing. Yeah, now you know the context of episode 1. I mean, I saw episode 1 in a bubble, of course. I was yeah, waiting yeah. For, the, for the rest of the series. So I was, you know, stupid fucking me. Uh, there I am thinking they've got these wonderful threads, you know, the interesting threads at least to run with. Mm. And uh, it, it, it just ended up being a, like a like a Last Jedi when it came to threads. Every fucking one of them just got snip, snip, snip. Yeah. It's awful, absolutely awful payoffs. Yeah, uh, I've only saw the, seen the first episode, so I was like, that's not too bad. It has some modernity in it, but uh, yeah, it sounds like it just it gets, gets worse, worse as it goes on. So we're in the uh, era of postmodern yeah. writing. That's what it is. Yeah. There's no good payoffs. We talked about this a little bit yesterday on Open Bar. It's like maybe the bar is just so low, uh, and it, solo yeah, lost it, money. It, solo James lost money. James no, Cameron needs uh, to uh, hashtag. Star Wars lost money. Star Wars lost money. <laughs> now <Yeah>. Jeremy Disney. <laughs> Star Wars lost as a money. whole. No, it just it gets more ridiculous as it goes on with an underwhelming ending that left it so open that that just it just got stupid. The uh, uh, the Brotherhood of Steel goes in guns a blazing, uh, shooting up the Griffith Observatory, and then they are caught fighting outside for ten minutes while everybody talks and works it out, and Maximus gets knocked out, and... Uh, Gary, and as long as they throw in a slow-motion, hyper-violent fight with 50s music every once in a while, then everyone's happy. That's all well, you need to do. Snap back into the show. Or a Johnny Cash song, throw that in. And, hey, like, I like the Johnny Cash yeah, That's a good song. Johnny Cash is fucking goat. <laughs> that's goat. why it's there. It's to make everyone go, you I know. I know. I know. <laughs> I, know. I, I, saw, I did see a lot of that, though. I did see a lot of people going, it's got a really good soundtrack, and it does have a really good that's soundtrack. But, but that's because it's got great music from fucking the 50s. Yeah, and, and it looks good. Uh, it, yeah. it does look it does good. Look yeah, good. Um, yeah the, the props are great. Uh, they're accurate to the games. The costumes are really good. Uh, yeah. Like we said, some of the acting is really good. Uh, but yeah, it's always comes back down to that writing. Like, there are no good writers <sighs> oh. anymore. You can, you can have the best-looking movie with the coolest-looking concepts. <clears throat> Rebel move. Uh... And have the story be ass, like complete ass, or like, just not exist, can, or not exist at all. Like, Kim, what is going on, man? Well, I mean, I mean, I, I, to me, it just didn't know what it wanted to be. It this didn't is, know whether or not it wanted to be uh, it's a, a trans serious. allegory, <laughs> like oh. the like the <sighs> Matrix. That's all you, you say about everything now. Everything's yeah. a trans allegory. Like it doesn't know yeah. what it is, and then it offs itself at the end. Yeah, Oppenheimer, <laughs> trans allegory, you know? <laughs> really goes off the rails at the end. Yeah, it really yeah. goes off the rails. There's a 41% chance of that really fucking <laughs> dying at the end there. Can, can we talk about how bad the tra Transformers 1 trailer is? Yes. Really cool. Oh, my fuck. God. Like, holy fuck. I thought like, it looked great. Do you want to watch it? What? Should Who we watch that? it? Hold on, hold on. Before great. before you do, uh, before you do, Ryan, you probably said it looked uh, great. I just you? I just want to show you that this is Shut what up, I Ryan. posted today. Wait, after, hang on, hang on. Um, Has anybody watched it? Have, have they got hit yes. on it? Did you get hit? Oh, on it? Uh, uh, oh no, not on stream. On I the just stream. Who's uh, I watched yeah, yeah. it last Me night. I didn't get hit for anything. Okay, okay. should be good. I love it. We're kind of Transformers fan. Best thing from Civil War. The best thing from Civil War is this meme. Yeah. Right. Listen, get, I'm, I'm a Michael Bay this. Transformers fan. I think. <laughs> oh, no. oh my God! No! <laughs> hey, I do like the first. Michael I like Bay the first one. First yeah. one's good. The first, first one is, one is good. solid. The rest That's of the and, then, thing. and then Bumblebee that. and Bumblebee. I like Bumblebee. Say something spicy, like you like the Leonard Nimoy one. The rest <laughs> of them. <laughs> I like the one with the two racist characters in the box. Uh, <laughs> yeah. The, uh, Jeremy, like the intro to Bumblebee is fucking awesome. Yeah, sure. shout, out, 
Shout out to John Campia for his review of uh, that racist Transformers movie, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Years <laughs> later, still up on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, he did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. That, that, that's that's like, really funny. It's like, it's like he's, he went he's full about... do rag vent. It's okay. Oh, okay. He's like, hold on. Let me see if I can find of... it. I don't. I don't know if we need to play <laughs> it, but it's like no. Just market. that clip. No, we we don't. We need to play it. But, Fine. Um, so good. Yeah, though. but he's he's describing like the the fucking robots that are like fucking <laughs> fucking hood, and he's like, oh, they got a couple of hood n words yeah. here. Yeah. But he says it. 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 And he's like, and they're talking jive, and oh, look, one's got a gold tooth. <laughs> and it's like, it's so funny. Like, if, if I said that today. Oh, oh geez, my God. Like, but I, I don't, I don't want to play because I don't want anybody fucking go in there like, no, take no. Yeah, that's true. They would get, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I, I don't want to do that because yeah. I don't think it should be taken We're down. We're not going to. It's funny. No. It's no. just very funny. Yeah, you can no. go find it yourself. But oh, we will watch this dumb shit. We will watch this. Uh, just to, like, let's preface it a little bit. That this is for little kids, but this Dude, is an animated movie. But, it's but an to be fair, so what's so the OG Transformers? Transformers? I, I, wait, wait, wait! <laughs> Let me finish for fuck's sake. <laughs> Let me jump in. You guys are jumping all over, Morty. <laughs> Like fucking calm down. <laughs> Let him God clarify. damn it. Let me clarify. Let him cook. Let it's him cook. For gay kids, okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's for trans kids because it's a trans allegory. Oh, no, no, um, no, no. But uh, the, the, that's the argument. But as these guys were about to fucking jump on me for, <laughs> it was made for kids before and it was more sophisticated. Did you see the Transformers movie? Yeah, dude. Yes. <laughs> yes. Saw it in the theater. Optimus. Easy, Prime. guys. Dude, I'm on your side. Okay. <laughs> there were kids <laughs> crying in my theater when Optimus died. Oh, right. yeah. We all were comics. Everybody <laughs> in the fucking world. Everybody was. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck old oh, yeller! Man. I cried for Optimus Prime. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna have a T-shirt made now. That. That, that was a classic thing too. Like they didn't even realize like how popular Optimus Prime was until they fucked that moment up. Yep. And you know mm. what happened? They got a lot of criticism from the fans. Yep. You know what they did? They, they listened. They listened. What to the fans? They're bigots. Holy shit! Yeah. What a what a crazy concept. That world but, doesn't yeah, exist admittedly, anymore. Admittedly, the cartoon was dead by then. It was. Yeah, season and, three was an abomination. And so Optimus and Megatron do have a history in in you know some of the continuity and things like that. But it's not about them being friends or whatever or knowing each other. It's this doesn't sound that their voices are terrible. And it's yeah. not that the it's not that they're they don't even make them sound like they're you know robots or anything. They just sound like a couple of like stoners dude, dude hanging bro, out yeah. Uh, wait, yeah, like, wait. so under <laughs> un, under dude, the bro. trailer uh, yesterday you probably can't find it now but under the trailer the best comment was this ah yes megatron with all the exaggerated swagger swagger <laughs> of an urban cybertronian youth <laughs> that's great uh, why do i gotta make the black one bad yeah. huh why do i gotta make the black uh, one bad uh, yeah <laughs> yeah yeah Mm, mm, mm. Oh, God. But this is not a good trailer. No, no, no. it's not trash. Uh, Chris, no, Chris awful. Hemsworth, uh, and then uh, the black gay guy from Eternals. Yes, <laughs> yes. that could be anyone. And um, Godzilla vs. Uh, King Kong. Whatever it was the, the it black gay guy from Eternals. His boyfriend was the one <laughs> no, who was on the red carpet who said. We're saving lives with this movie. We're saving, We're saving lives. lives. So many lives. This is sad. So many lives. Think of the lives. Uh, I still, I'm still laughing about what Gary said. This is for kids and me and Ash. <laughs> we basically were every comment section when somebody starts talking today. Oh man! It's just like our, today on Geese Gamers Daily, we had uh, Madam Savvy on. And the moment she mentioned she was married, the fucking chat was <laughs> like, no! it was all like, oh yeah, they were like, man, she's great. You should bring her back, Jeremy. Yeah, she's wait, she's married. Get her the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> that should be a, that should be I a strategy a for, for any female content creator. Keep it as Schrodinger single, right? Like as long as you don't fucking reveal <laughs> it, like you can still imagine that this person's actually single. As soon as you say you're married, they're done. They're it's like, it's like VTubers. You don't ever want to know what's behind that VTuber. No. <laughs> so don't uh, don't ruin the fantasy, man. <laughs> Let's go. So how long do you think we'll be here? I'm not talking to you. Ha 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 ha. You know what? We are yeah, so that's... screwed. Thought you weren't talking to me. You two, come with me. 
Report to waste management. Hi there. Hashtag not my Orion Pax. Working on something. <laughs> the, the one I'm floating right now is yeah, um, the Bad Astatron, which is actually pronounced. Oh my god. This is like. <laughs> 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 Welcome to so, our world, Mola. So uh, that uh, happened. Yeah. 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 It, it's Lord. it's like DreamWorks Transformers. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. It's like yes. Dream DreamWorks transsexuals. <laughs> That's what it's like. It's the fucking it's that lower deck show, isn't it? But Transformers. Yeah. Oh god, yeah. Can't LOL wait for Ryan so random. That's that's LOL off. so random, yeah. That's that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. LOL so that's, random. I, I call it millennial humor. humor. But millennial yes. humor is not humor though. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Let's uh, go. They're kind of gaming off of the 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 Lego movie style, kind of like, oh, we're all yeah. kind of wacky and yeah. having fun and stuff. Mm -hmm. But it's like, but that works that, with Legos, not that fucking Transformers. In that movie, because those characters were interesting, but like, not every single character can be that way. Right. Yep. All three of these characters are, I'm wacky, funny, look, look at me. Oh, that just happened. No, this is like mm. the movie version of kids' comics. Right, that they when they started writing kids comics and they started writing down mm. to kids when comics were supposed to be for kids in the first place, but then they had to make a more kid comic and it was just awful it, every time. Just like Star Trek, Gary. Just like Star Trek. Oh, it, yes. It's the argument Mahler always makes when he gets into these discussions. Like you don't have to dumb it down for no. it to be for kids. Toy mm. Story is not dumbed down. Everybody loves Toy Story because it's a great movie. It has nothing to do with it being pandering to kids or for kids. It can still be a great movie. Wally, uh, up. Yep. There's a lot of these movies that are for kids that are phenomenal storytelling. That like Golden this, Age Pixar, this, you know. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Uh, uh, to, and to, to make it really old. Old, uh, one of the most sophisticated, best written shows ever to this day, The Twilight Zone. We all watched it as kids. We yeah. all watched it as five, yeah. six, seven year old kids. Yep, absolutely. We're, We're gonna roll. call you B. I know we're just lowly worker bots who can't even transform. Don't you want to see what's out there? Uh. No. There's a reason no one Mexico. goes to the surface. Uh, uh, he was D16. Why'd you bring jetpacks? Uh, 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 I accept those terms. I hear Mahler's pain. It's the same thing every time. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I don't even want to watch the rest of this pull bullshit. It's too yeah, much. It's, 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 dumb, dude. Know, it's so it's bad. It's actually obsessive. It, it really is. What the fuck? And then, and then the needle drop music. Oh, stop! Yeah, then we gotta, yeah, yep. we gotta stop it there. Like, yeah. hey, let's put in "Start Me Up" by well, the Rolling yeah, but, Stones, well, like all the animated. Fuck off. It, yeah, but having like you know music like this is not that's not even a problem. No, know, it's so, no no it's yeah. it's not a problem. It's basic. It's super well, typical. Yeah, it, There's yeah. nothing. Well, trying to rip off Guardians yeah. of the Galaxy now. Literally everything yeah. is trying well, to rip no, off. Guardians. Every animated fucking trailer for the last almost twenty years now has some old pop song come in about yeah. two thirds of the way through or a third of the way um, through. Speaking of someone who is not a Transformers fan, man, you Transformers fans been on a roller coaster in the past twenty years. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I tell you what, I tell you what, there is a roller coaster, Mola, but like most places, there's always a great ride, and if you want a great Transformers, you pick up this. Is this, this the new run? New, is this, this is the yeah. new run for yes. Skybound, and this is fucking G. I. Great. I, I, I think good things about yeah, it. Yeah, the GI Joe stuff I think and the Transformers, especially stuff. after Fantastic. this current era. Uh, Everybody owes Michael Bay an apology, just for no. in general. Well, no. No. For the first yes. movie. For the, for the first no. movie. I, yeah. No. I want to. I want to talk about. Uh, I remember where I was. I had had the downloaded the third one on a laptop, and I had a long train ride. So I was like, I'll just watch it. When Optimus Prime brutally murdered Megatron, <laughs> I, I remember being. Up, I was looking around like, what the hell? Like, it was <laughs> amazing. Are you kidding me? That was the uh, first movie, hey, but like well, the but here's Rock, the thing, though, but Armageddon, I'd watch Armageddon a oh, thousand oh. times over anything coming Dude, the out. Rock, I'd the like Rock, Armageddon, fucking, and Armageddon are phenomenal. The Rock is brilliant. Armageddon's awesome. When Optimus yeah, Prime great. fucking buries 
uh, like an axe or something, and Megatron's head and rips his fucking yeah. spine out. <laughs> blood comes out. Dude. It was like, whoa! It's look at all that mud. hydraulic fluid. This, it's a. Uh, it's like an American it down. It's, or it's definitely like a black oil, but you also see red in there. Just like, wait a minute. <laughs> that's, that's the evil part of him. No, yeah. not, uh, no, no, Mahler. That's brake fluid. Okay. Oh, okay. No yeah. power steering yeah. fluid. Power steering fluid. Sorry. It power is a little red. Yeah. Yeah. Oil is yeah. getting a little red tinge too. But let's not forget that. Then he goes and executes Sentinel Prime as well. Just. Blowing pieces off him and blow his <laughs> fucking head off. And he see a little green. It's coolant. If it's a lighter brown, then yeah. Then What's the last? It felt, it felt odd him. because of the fact that it was Megatron saved Optimus Prime from Sentinel Prime, and then he's like. Maybe you know we're not so. He says some shit like we're not so different after all, or whatever. And then Optimus Prime's like, "No, we fuck are. you." <laughs> 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 well, what? Uh, what's the last time Michael Bay? What's the last Michael Bay movie that, that he directed? He just what's the ambulance. That- Ambulance. Yeah, ambulance. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Oh, Jake Gyllenhaal. Okay. It was awful. Okay. You can, and you can tell was it, it was a Michael Bay movie because it, like, it Explosion? all the camera <laughs> shots the sh- and the. The tone, everything of it. The shaky cam it was exactly nauseous. Like I, I yeah. don't know how he he can really make some good movies. Like The Rock is a phenomenal movie for those that Hell have yeah, not seen it. Yeah. 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 He's in yeah. Bad Boys yeah. too. Uh, I mean, but I think The Rock is probably his. It might be his best the, movie. The Island's yeah, up there so, for yeah. me too. Yeah, I was like, say The Island's pretty good. Uh, yeah, yeah. Bad Boys is good. Uh, the, the Rock is his best. The Rock is his best. And I think that I don't think Armageddon's necessarily a great movie, but fuck if it's not fun as hell to watch. Yeah. Fantastic I, to watch. I, I Pearl Harbor. The, come on, guys. Oh, no, no, all the no, 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 no. The best thing about Let's Pearl Harbor crazy. is, is, is the Team America song. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah. 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 Pearl yeah. Harbor sucked, and I miss you. Hey, you know what? That's that's soundtrack. You know what? That song is what I will frame the Dan Vass song on. I have the lyrics. I have the and lyrics I, ready, oh, by the way. Yes. Well, kind of ready. So, uh, I, yeah, I, I got some, I got mm. some funny stuff in there. Con uh, Air, Con Air, was that a Michael Bay movie? Con nope, Air? Nope. No, no it wasn't. No, Somebody said no. Con Air in the chat, but I don't think that's a Michael Bay movie. It has that it's feel. It's a Bruckheimer feel. Yeah, it's a Bruckheimer. Yeah, I, th- I thought it was yeah. Bruckheimer. Before we get to <laughs> Rebel Moon, speaking of Bruckheimer, let's briefly. I guess hey. we kind of did, but briefly talk about the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. Mm. Uh, there's not much to talk about. It's Super average. Uh, Guy Ritchie's one of his most pedestrian movies outside of, I guess, Aladdin and that Madonna movie, and I didn't watch either of them. But uh, the gentleman like feels like a guy. He didn't direct every episode, but it feels very Guy Ritchie. This yeah. mm-hmm. doesn't at all. Like it just no, feels it, like yeah. he didn't. Yeah, the music does. Yeah. It, it it felt like they they pulled back that energy completely like there was no style to it that was my main problem walking out of it it's like it was a fine movie the action was fun yeah. uh, the characters were interesting it's seriously i really average. liked the book and uh, they they captured the very first mission pretty well uh but yeah it just didn't have any style there was no like yeah the no, first i was just i was, was a lot of people more. get shot that, a that lot of people get shot. Than... Uh, Alan uh, Richson is it Richson i always want to say Richson Richson, Richson. Yeah, Richson. Richson yeah. he was the best thing in it like that twat. He was pretty brutal. Well, yeah. He, yeah, he got a lot of like physical action sequences. Yeah. yeah. Whereas Cavalry. everybody else, everybody else was pretty much for the most part shooting everyone. Shooting yeah. everyone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just he was like, the pfft. only he was, he was really the, the only, only one. He was like got a lot of physicality. Killing shit. a lot of people with knives and axes and in unique bows. ways. And like, bows. honestly, like the the real story is more ridiculous than the movie is. The the characters in the in the real story are more bombastic and loud and crazy than the movie portrayed their characters. I'll be honest, like one of the coolest parts was when they introduced Ian Fleming. Yes, yeah. like, <laughs> like I was like, oh, that's fucking cool. That was, that was cool. That was like the inspiration for James yeah. Bond, right? Yeah. And so it's just so fucking cool. But and, uh, yeah. the movie itself was it was fine. It's Again, fine. it was. It was it was fine. It was fun. A couple parts that you laugh a little bit at. You see a lot of people get just fucking murdered. You see a lot of Nazis get killed oh, in yeah. this thing. Just straight um, up. Yes. But yeah, like a, a little bit forgettable for sure. Yeah. Uh, it was like I a less it. Yeah, a less good version than Operation Fortune, which came out last yeah. year. Which I except thought was this a lot one more was tr- like read the book, read the book because the, the book it's a crazy fucking story. Uh, and I don't think they captured it. Now there's diversity yeah. in it, but it's absolutely explained considering the region they're in. Like, that makes a lot of yeah. sense. Oh yeah, yeah that yeah, right off the coast sense. of Africa. Yeah, the so, right off the yeah. coast of Africa on a on a Spanish island, uh, which and this was this was the Nazis, man. 
Uh, they had basically <laughs> one Italian ship uh, that was uh, running supplies to the U-boats. The Americans couldn't come across until the U-boats were taken care of. And let's not forget, like, uh, they showed at the beginning the map, and uh, it's kind of incredible. Crazy. We all know it, but, like, how much fucking land the nazis had conquered like they had conquered yeah. so mm -hmm. much and they spread themselves too thin and if they had oil if they had freaking access to oil in their own country they would have won easily would have won that was their big one of their biggest achilles heels they had just uh you know they had some oil fields in eastern europe and i think they had one in in africa but they didn't have access to a lot of it and that really held them up a lot and uh it's it's a crazy story but uh and henry cavill was good Everybody's pretty good, and I mentioned yeah, before it was very well acted. the The girl was hot. Yeah, <laughs> like she was hot, super hot. Um, was that the she one? Did, and they had one of those traditional scenes where it's like at a party, and you have the the lady up on stage singing like a you know nineteen thirties, nineteen forties, yeah, around, yeah, mm -hmm. and all the all the fucking Nazis are like going crazy, and yeah. then she Ooh, uses Fraulein. a word. And then she uses a word in the song that instead of German, it was Yiddish. Yeah. And it tips the guy off like yeah, a man. Like, that, okay. <laughs> for, for me, that, that third act is where it falls apart because there's I, I walked out of the movie going, there's something wrong with this movie because I didn't enjoy it as much as I thought I was going to. And though I, I felt like when they telegraphed the whole thing with the Yiddish, that it, it kind of ruined the surprise, right? Because a, a lot of the tension I felt in the movie was being undercut. Mm-hmm. Because she's part, she's part Jewish. She's part Jewish. Yeah, she's part Jewish. The very yeah. Beginning. yeah. Yeah. Well, no, I no, I get that. I, but the idea that when he goes, oh, she said something in Yiddish, it it basically kind of ruins the surprise that she fucked up. Yeah. And, and like, that's that's well, where I, part of it. I, kind I, of fell I, I think it's to, to build the tension. You're like, now, you know, she's fucked. So yeah. now, like the next yeah. little bit, they're kind of building tensions. They're leading her into the same room. where She saw somebody shackled. But nothing happens, though. Beginning. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's yeah, that's the other they, thing. Uh, remember oh, when uh, they were on no the tension when um mm -hmm. the guy who owns the bar and the girl i don't know their name sorry are on the boat they they find a boat and they escape and they're going to the 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 larger boat now is it them there's a whole scene like we don't know if it's them oh it could be the nazis oh it was just them okay no, just cool. the yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there's like yeah. a lot of that and you're like i yeah. know who it is and what and what you just mentioned too is that again they're a good point like you don't know the characters names like the only name i actually remember from it was freddy because it, i heard that name all the time freddy Freddy. Freddy, could you do this, please, Freddy? And I'm like, okay, Gus, so one guy's name is Freddy. The other guy, yeah. I don't know. Gus, uh, Applegate. All right. Applegate, yeah. But that's because I read the book. But exactly. yeah, yeah. <laughs> the movie was yeah, like... that's why. If you're bored on a matinee, go see it. Uh, otherwise, or if it's for, streaming. Or if it's streaming. It's not, it's not bad. It's not a bad no, it's movie. Not, it's not, it's bad. not great. Yeah. That's what, it's a great like fucking TNT movie. That's what it is. Yes. Yeah. It's a great yeah. movie that they used to air on TNT 20 years ago. And when it popped on, you're like, oh, shit, I'll watch this. Well, and, like, even about, through commercials or whatever, you know? It is such a mid Guy Ritchie film, though. That's the problem. Yep. Guy Ritchie yeah. is such a great Watch The Gentleman. Yeah, I was expecting a lot more from Guy Ritchie. Yeah. Yeah. You guys watch want The Gentleman. See, you guys want to see a third Sherlock Holmes movie? A third yes. Guy Ritchie Sherlock Holmes yeah. movie? Fuck yes. I've been waiting for that for so long. If he directs Do it like it. Guy Ritchie, yes. Yes, mm -hmm. if it's on the same level, yeah. yeah first one, movies. first one is great. First that one got me. Great. That got me into Sherlock Holmes. Like I, I read every single Sherlock Holmes book after that. All of the side stories, all the small stuff. Yeah. My problem with the second movies. one is like how quickly. Yes. They they like advance Moriarty and then he's gone. And it's he's like, gone. It's like holy fuck! You you just like fast forwarded by so much shit. Yes. Um, just to like. Yeah. Make the reveal that he's actually a lie. I, I, I just didn't. Yeah, like, yeah. I didn't like that. I, I, wasn't I, 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 that wasn't a fun of either. No, it's it is oh, very much the a first take. one. It's very much a take on Sherlock Holmes, right? But um, yeah, I enjoyed it. Just, yeah. just I like, like the dynamic uh, between Robert Downey Jr. and Jude Law. I like those two. Just like Director X did a take on Robin Hood. Just like that. <laughs> just like that. Not hey, quite. Uh, you look goofy. <laughs> 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 You know, you know who looks goofier. Kills me you know time. who looks goofier. Zach, Zach Snyder. Zach Snyder. <laughs> Zach Snyder. Hey. Oh my God. Um, this is some of the most self in Rebel Moon, of course. Some of the most self indulgent vanity project fucking gobbledygook I have ever seen. Uh, uh, you it, mean Rebel Moon Part Two? Sorry, Rebel Moon Part Two. Scar the Giver. Scar Giver. Um, I was confused to what you were talking about. Yeah, that's such a retarded title. Is it fair to say that Warner Brothers executives and their overseeing of his DC projects probably helped make those projects a little better?
Uh-oh. Oh, you are you are go, you are trending on uh well it's it's I will say, Jeremy, it's very difficult to argue no, they that were bad they the were whole time. Uh, well okay, Warner Brothers is fucked. I think it's fair to say they were both dumb motherfuckers. I think that's pretty fair to say. I think they were all a bunch of dumb motherfuckers. But uh I it's hard to question that now, uh even because uh because now that he has been given absolutely everything, carte blanche. Uh, it, it's it's the same thing, a little worse, a little worse. Do you see his um? Do you see that video that's going around of him saying like, if you don't support me, you support focus groups? Yes, I. Oh, can yeah. we play that? Up. Yeah. Uh, please, up. please hold, pull, hold up. Uh, okay. Could you pull that up, Garrett? This fucking guy. <laughs> You're my Jamie now. I honestly have seen up, this Jamie. clip going around. I have not heard of this yet because uh, <laughs> yeah, neither have I. Yeah. So. It's just focus group, but why don't we do AI that? And yeah, 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 let the AI decide. Yeah, exactly. Because, by the way, that's where we are in some ways. I always go like, look, you may love or hate my movies. And but they're I'm yours. 100%, hey, I'm 100%, 100%, 100% fine movies. with that, but a vote against me is a vote for the focus group. Version. If you don't vote for me, just you ain't that. black. Yeah. No, <laughs> sucks. Yeah. You're also saying, you know what? Give me some more focus groups. <laughs> Give me the no, do you know what we're saying, Zach? We're more... saying we're saying get somebody in that says no to your dumb shit <laughs> instead of you just doing your dumb shit. It's having somebody there that can say, Zach, this doesn't make any fucking sense, you retard. That's what it is. It's called a producer, a director, but somebody that actually will say this to your dumb, arrogant, fucking wife beaten face. <laughs> he, needs, he needs a Gary Kurtz. I wonder where that was going. You need to ask your fucking wife for permission to wipe your fucking ass, mate. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I was like, "Where's ass going with this one?" Oh, that was Jeez. fucking great. Woo! That was fantastic. <laughs> um, no, but like I, I think really what we've learned is that he needs James Gunn to write his scripts. Uh, yes, or some somebody. He needs somebody, somebody. to write his scripts. <laughs> somebody uh, come out here and write a fucking story for him. <laughs> Shit. Let, let's oh. wait to see James Gunn Superman. <laughs> yeah, well, goes. no, but what I'm saying oh, is because sure. of uh, of Dawn of the Dead. Dawn of the Dawn Dead, of Dead yeah. is really. Yes. I really enjoy Dawn it's a good of the movie, Dead. Yeah, I like it a lot. And and I don't know. I I'm I'm so curious as to because I do. I think Watchmen. I really love Watchmen. Um, and I don't know why that one turned out so good compared it's to everything else. Source material. He had a source, source material to source adapt. Material, yeah. Yes. Well, there was source and material with Superman too, and then he had his fucking dad. That is a very good dad. point. Okay, <laughs> so, but there was yeah. like he, there was. He, the, the problem he, is for both three hundred and Watchmen, you have a very strict hey. This is what it is. Whereas yes. it's with Superman, you have almost a century of things to little like sit there and pull exactly, from. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You, you mm -hmm. have the storyboards right there. One by Frank Miller, uh, and the other one uh, written by Alan Moore, and it's and it's yeah. and Dave Gibson. It's 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 you right can there visibly for you. see the moment Zack Snyder starts taking the character in a different direction, like with like three hundred and Watchmen. Almost one to one, mm -hmm. the book, except for the squid. I know, except for the squid. It's but almost one to one. And then you go into Superman, where it's kind of like you know his backstory. You kind of know, and then he starts going, okay, well, Paul Kent's in a tornado. Eh? What about that? Oh, uh, uh, he he kills Zod. What about that? What do you, what do you think about that? The Batman what do you think versus about Superman. That? What do you think about this? Zod Dude, gets worse and worse. Shout out to yeah. Chris Duckman. It so. just gets worse and worse the more he's involved in the writing. I think um, the last time we were talking about Rebel Moon, I made this point, but I'm going to make it very clearly this time, okay? I just need like a minute. When we talk about like the best stuff from him, a lot of people talk about his vision, and they will specifically be talking about like the cinematography of a lot of the best movies. So if we go back to like 300, for example, cinematography was Larry Fong. It's like, okay, Watchmen. Like, well, Larry Fong again. Man of Steel. It's uh, Amir Mokri. That's the director of photography. And you're like, Okay, uh, the Snyder Cut Justice League. It's like Fabian Wagner. All right, well, what about Army of the Dead? The first of his movies that everyone felt, holy fuck, the cinematography is like dog shit and it looks like ass. Cinematography by Zack Snyder. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about Rebel Moon Part 1? That also looks like absolute fucking ass. Cinematography, Zack Snyder. Mm. Like, and then Part 2, cinematography, Zack Snyder. Like, mm -hmm. every time he has had full control, his movies have been, th those are his three worst movies. There's, there's no question. 
Rebel Moon 1, 2, and uh, Armored Dead. Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch right behind I was going to say Sucker Punch. I think that's his worst movie. Um, the fact that we have to fucking figure out which of four movies from him <laughs> are his weird. <laughs> Damn, uh, and, and, Bro. and I will. I will be fair to everybody knows I hate Man of Steel, but I think the first forty-five minutes of Man of Steel are pretty fucking good. I enjoy the first forty-five minutes. Of them. Maybe maybe right into the hour mark, but like after that, I fucking hate everything about it. But there's good in there, and I and Henry Cavill is good in that role. Um, but it's just clear that the more creativity he has, the more creative control he has, the worse this becomes, and. Outside of Christopher Nolan now, and it hasn't always been the case, but outside of Christopher Nolan, every director in Hollywood has to have some, they, they all have some level of oversight. That's just, and I think that's good from a creative standpoint. It could have helped the prequels. As much as I love the prequels, if someone was there to tell George, hey, this is dumb, or we should do this, it would have probably helped the prequels, but that was the problem is George had nobody that was going to tell him what to do um zach snyder having complete creative control is not a good thing at all it just isn't no and, and that's and evident almost, and that almost works for most i mean but i the think dumb, that, the dumbest thing amount of steel is jonathan kent saying yeah just let a fucking uh bus full of children die <laughs> he said maybe as he said maybe he said Dude, maybe oh, yeah. 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 maybe let a bus load of kids <laughs> die <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh god really bad. don't really save bad. me son don't save like, me um, oh okay <laughs> most of these like actors directors whatever they'll say something that gets them in super troll for his career their careers like he not it's not like he hasn't said stupid shit but like the more he makes art the more his <laughs> reputation fucking tanks that's the way i say it anyway yeah 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 well this i mean go, go on no, 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 go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was just I was gonna get into like this this movie is worse than part one. It is noticeably worse yes. than part one. We spend an hour watching people fucking farm, and there's a point <laughs> it, like no slow motion, like slow motion, <laughs> slow farming. motion farming. farming. So I did uh for my Multiple members scenes. I did a watch slow party motion. and I like I was kind of marveling. I'm like, we're 50 minutes in. And we just got the characterization of our main characters. They all sit at the table, and Titus goes, "No, we don't don't want to confess, but it's time for us to confess." And every time it's like, "When I was a small child, I lived on the beaches of this planet." Uh, as Marler puts it, "I was in my happy place with my nice people till mean people came along and took us all away." Yeah, and now and I, I was, defend grain, <laughs> and, and now I defend grain, and this is all over grain. Let's let's remember. That the dreadnought flew through a space vagina, came to this planet because they needed to grain. We later find out that the uh, this very small village. So how much grain? I'm thinking it might feed a tenth of that ship for a week, whatever. But they also they need the farmers to not only grow it, they need to harvest it, they need to mill it and turn it into flour. Now, hopefully, the dreadnought like has ovens for fucking bread. Not really sure. <laughs> But they whatever. They're right next to the coal ovens. Yeah. We'll get to that. <laughs> Wait, are those the coal ovens that are on the fucking ship? We so got a ship. Uh, yeah, the interstellar ship. Yeah. Triggered by this movie. <laughs> no, you have a ship that can fly through a space vagina, jump through space, but you can't grow food in your ship. But later on, later on, Mahler loves this one. They go to a planet rich with resources they could literally eat the fucking octopus who occupy that planet they can have calamari for the rest of their fucking lives and they nuke it to go back to get their little bit of grain that'll feed a tenth of the fucking dreadnought it's stupid they're like two acres of grain it's like, like uh, two acres it, it was making me think of thrawn in ahsoka when he was like ah they've covered their buildings in grain very clever mm. <laughs> what dude Yes, they use the grain as shields. Okay, so when they come yeah. back, we spend Burn an hour. Them! I know. They don't. They blow it all up anyway. They blow it up anyway. Yeah, it, it, it ended up being pointless after all. Yeah. That was dumb. They should have just showed up and started blasting them with from orbit. But, what am I? Oh, anyway, I, I just started blasting. So I want to. With with crappy fucking OC sci fi shit, there are so many pitfalls and mistakes. Like this would be a really great movie to have in a university to teach people about screenplays. But I just want to read out because I wrote it down because I was like, "Fuck me!" Right? They did, they had to do a bit of a catch up for you right at the beginning. Anthony, oh Hogan no, are you talking about? So I don't want to interrupt you, but are you talking about when like when 
after they're fucking or before they're fucking. I yeah, can't the, remember. The post sex. The, right, right, the post sex. Really the- she's all. I've already told you, and then she like starts going into her exposition part. Is that it? No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not okay. talking about the other 17 exposition <laughs> scenes. I'm okay. talking about the one right at the beginning after the Netflix logo, right? So, okay, gotcha. Uh, Anthony Hopkins says, circling the gas giant Mara was the peaceful moon of Velt until Admiral Noble demanded more grain than the people could give. So Guna and Korra search for warriors <laughs> like Tarek from Niwodi, Nemesis from the Mines of Dagus <laughs> and the Colosseum of Pollux and reached the wayward General Titus and on the planet Sharad, Darian Bloodaxe and his Lieutenant Milius on the floating docks of Gondival. <laughs> Cora triumphed over Noble and the threat was defeated or so they believed. I was like, that was so many fucking drop and down. <laughs> 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 I will now start a jihad against proper nouns and not neo pronouns. Dude, I, I, I'll, I'll remember it for my video, but when uh, he asks her about like what happened when she finally tells the truth of what the girl is the key to everything, the way she starts her sentence is, I can't remember. I'm going to have to look it up. It's so fucking bad, Mahler. Um, so I just we, want to confirm you the know chat. My there, name? Is a, there, is a, there is a character called Guna. Yes. <laughs> Guna? Is that a type of cheese? <laughs> what about what about Slurpo? Slurpo in there. They make a good buddy cop. Uh, yeah, this it's the post sex exposition oh. scene was hilarious. <sighs> It's all hilarious, dude. Just it's just, a, oh my god. Is there sex it's, in it's this? A, no. It's like a <laughs> no, they, they, curl away from they the have movie. no chemistry either. None. Yeah, at the end, spoiler alert, if you give a fuck, uh, uh, Pretty Mansel dies. Uh, <laughs> pretty Mansel. No. <laughs> no, no, Pretty Mansel. No, and she's crying, crying and she's just crying. And I'm like, I could not give a fuck <laughs> yeah. about any of funeral, these characters please. dying. <laughs> they did the same thing with Nemesis. So she, spoiler alert, <laughs> gets killed. Uh, and she has this weird, like, character connection with this boy. Oh, I could. That it, was weird. I was like, it's what? really well done. It's really well done. In the first it. movie, oh. they established she used to have kids and they died. In the second movie, right. they established she used to have kids and they died. And then there's a kid that she likes and she dies saving him. That's an arc. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I was about to mention that too, Molly. So, so yeah, it's, 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 it's it was brilliant. Off. So we yeah. get the re, we get to the, the, the do the backstory. So so it starts with you remember how I told you how I was raised by Belisarius. She's talking directly to the audience on <laughs> yes, this one. Yeah, hang on, I gotta wait for the next line to cycle through. Uh, there it goes, and it goes, uh huh, Regent of the Imperium, yes. And then she just launches into this fucking. <laughs> And then, and then how I was, you can feel you can feel the backstory cutback is is coming. Like it, you're like I'm does. getting sucked into the past. And how I was the bodyguard to the princess I see. I remember <laughs> audience. Remember? Do you remember this? He's all Thank yes. You. I remember yes. Uh, and then she goes and that uh, and that you were decorated warrior. You told me that too. Yes, I told you that. Ba 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 ba. Friend of the royal family. Yes, 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 yes. So we're ready. We're getting. What happened to them? Asked the audience. Uh, <laughs> And then she, uh, under the healing I influence, them. <laughs> under the healing influence of his daughter, uh, the king had begun to see many things in a different light. Uh, no backs. <laughs> so we get to the backstory under now the healing influence. So the king of base, think of like a Warhammer forty uh, k fucking king, like just empire that's been oh, devastating. Okay, now Gary's a queen now. Yeah, it's a, it's a queen. It's a yeah. woman on the throne now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I sit corrected. It's, it's, it's the, the emperor was a woman all the time. Think of Remember, all like only one Warhammer. Is everybody else lagging up, or is it just I, me? I am woman. Hear me, bore. I am also lagging a little. Everybody, yeah. everybody just a lagging, lagging for me. Just Everybody's lagging. Yeah, I, think I think it's, it's I think I think it's I'm Jeremy. I think it's because of this movie. This no, movie's the lagging. only the only person who has lagged a little bit for me, other than XR Go, because our dog shit internet has been as. But that's just Damn. occasionally. Mm. <sighs> so go fuck yourself, Ryan. This the uh <laughs> Carrioles, who's the 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 emperor fucking just they conquered planets, stole all their fucking resources, a horrific empire empire. And then he has a daughter, he's like, maybe it wasn't such a good idea to be evil but you know what we'll stop being evil when when she gets the crown when my daughter gets the crown but we'll continue being now no as i see your face that's exactly what it is that's exactly what it is so uh, Mahler, did you love the fact that they well, walked she... into their own fucking assassination it was totally not obvious with mm. all the musician i i'm I can't like describing I can, this. Mix- I can see it. I can see what's happening in your brain. You, I know what's happening. You're thinking like it's a really bad red wedding, and it's also somehow a reference to Julius Caesar. It <laughs> is. It is. So the king, 
uh, his queen and the daughter walk into a room of everybody wearing black and musicians with bags over their head with an eye. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> freaking musicians. That comes weird. in later, and they're playing along as he gets Caesared. Right. But before yeah, yeah. he does, before he does, he walks in and he sees the musicians like ominously playing music with bags over their eyes. He's all, is there something going on here? <laughs> It takes him a while, though. It's so it's so it takes like a, a while for minutes. it to kick in because he's, he's like, like in. he's still smiling and like looks over at his wife and he's like, "Yeah, this is a fun we party to, we're about to have." We need to talk about why it's so great in the red wedding, being the the musicians are there because it's a fucking party, it's a wedding, and then they start playing the reigns of Castamere, and that's what makes a lot of Starks be like, "Wait, <laughs> yeah. what the fuck are you doing? Like, yeah, why are you yeah. playing that?" And then everything turns right in this. They're playing. They're playing music that actually matches the events. The as events, they happen. Yes. <laughs> they, yes. They play like dramatic intrigue shock. That's as like as the music with... raises tempo as they're getting killed. <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. <laughs> the musicians are like playing along. Woo! Yeah, that's that's like a stylistic to choice by Zach. Gonna, they're not even on, on pace either. You're gonna grab him, shake him, and say you guys like, "Guys are voting for the focus things. groups." Okay. I know you've seen <laughs> movies. You don't understand how they were made you don't know like what you're doing it's like it needs a focus group you know yes, uh nemesis yeah. is death it's like the shittiest version of baromir you've ever dude, seen she, dude. she dies defending kids right but she only takes out like three people takes out, yeah. in total that she was right next to it was really weird and she should have uh, easily killed just yeah, easily. She's supposed yeah, to be like the best warrior. Thing. Remember, remember, she learned how to fight from the echoes of her ancestors from her blood. From her, so you know yes. that, and her, so and her gauntlets, and her gauntlets. Wait a second. Yeah, she had to cut <laughs> off her arms to put on her fake hands, and through the blood echo of her ancestors, she learned how to fight. She had never fought before. Too, is that she knew exactly where to cut to get all the proportions right. That was she like might, my first thought. She might be uh, Zach's not as edgiest OC I've ever seen. <laughs> that Nebe the fact that he called her Nebus. Oh sense. God. <laughs> And then the first time Lady she's up death. against three people. I like a pilgrim hat. <laughs> oh, the little wavy. But also they, they established later hat. on that she didn't need to cut her hands off because you can hold those swords without having metallic yeah, arms. You, you just need it, a little blanky. If I've learned anything. Yeah. But they're better if you have metallic arms. If I've learned I anything, so, yeah. I just want you guys to wait for the Snyder cut. Uh -oh. And it's going to oh. fix everything. <laughs> It'll fix everything. All your cuts that so many will times, be fixed. Okay? Uh, Every is going to be different. See what you did there. We'll Gary, all be can fixed. you imagine watching we'll do a big in a row? Of <laughs> yeah. We'll do a big we'll do a big charity stream to celebrate the Snyder Cut coming out. It'll be great. We'll yeah. raise a bunch of money. Yeah. It'll be awesome. So uh it, it'll all be fine. Don't worry, guys. You guys are being too toxic right now. Just give it time. Like mm -hmm. let the man cook. Okay. Let him cook. That's it, it'll all be worked out. All Stop potholes cooking. will be gone. He's, he's overcooked. He's he just he's needs burnt. He just needs six hours to tell a get out of the fucking crappy kitchen. story. <laughs> so the house is burning down. <laughs> let, let him wash dishes. <laughs> so I they, trust him with dishes. So we, we have we have Dario Naharis one and Dario Naharis two in this movie. Uh, they bring Dario Naharis one back to life. Uh, it leaves a little scar in his chest. Uh, by the way, randomly, they they both die. By the way, yeah, they're both yeah. Dead. they both fucking died. I two minutes. Is that, is that yeah. every white man in this story so far? Every white dude died. <laughs> <laughs> like dollars, dollar store Henry Cavill died, uh, who was one of the villagers. By the way, they're fighting space Amish. For Christ's sake, oh, it was uh, so funny. It was so and all funny. the women survived except for Nemesis. Nemesis, <sighs> yes. Mm -hmm. Well, they she killed woman. they killed the Asian woman. They're practically white on the scale yeah. of things anyway. So <laughs> <laughs> they gained a powerful black woman. Oh wait! Oh, oh oh yeah, she shows up at the last minute. As no I pointed reason. out on as I pointed out on Who Twitter, the, uh, black the black women showed up to the battle late. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, oh damn. That, I'm sorry. I'm that so was glad I'm here purpose. to save y'all. You know she was like, what, about 90% of the people are dead? Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's mop we up a couple. They mop up a couple of the last ships. Uh, and, and then they're like <laughs> cheered on. They're like, wait a minute. Were they the only like two black, all, with all the black people just late? They yes, have to be late? Dude. <laughs> well, <laughs> Titus, well, Titus, Titus was there. Joke, yes. Titus was not. there. Titus I was gonna make a joke that I should yeah, put in the private show. Yeah. <laughs> but that's Jamon Hansu. I mean, that dude's in everything. 
There was so, like 17 white pops people where they people. stood in front of about 100 soldiers aiming guns at them and they just somehow survived. Like, edited, it'd just be like, they're fine, by the way. Don't worry about them. Like, yeah. several yeah. different characters. Plot armor's through the roof, but I guess it doesn't even matter because there's just nothing... There's nothing good in this film. There's nothing <laughs> worthwhile. <laughs> nothing good. It's not like, oh, yeah, unfortunate that's there. It's like, no, nah, it's just it's just part of the course. It's the whole thing. So, yeah, Dario Naharis comes back to life. He gets a scar, and then a couple of times he points out that it's poignant that... uh I get a scar from the scar giver. It's oh, so three funny. times. <laughs> it's three times. Yeah. It's it's so to, I swear to God, I'm listening to fucking some retarded guy just spurging out. <laughs> yeah. Yes, that is Zack Snyder. Yeah. 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 Uh, do you want to know how I got these scars? Was it the <laughs> from scar the scar giver. giver. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was. Well, well hey, uh, actually, I'm yeah. Curious, I'm curious if you'll actually get this, okay? So, uh, bad guys getting resurrected at the beginning of the second movie. And there's a helper, like, scientist, medical thing guy who says, like, we can't release you just yet because you need to have more uh, mental and physical checks. What do you think mm -hmm. he does to that guy? Uh, kills him. Kills him. Yep. Kills him. Immediately. Because that's that's screenwriting. That's what you do. Your bad guy kills he's his own fucking guy. men because he's so evil. <laughs> he's scary. <laughs> yep. It's so fucking dusty. The guy was literally like, I just want to make sure you're okay. Well, fuck you. <laughs> he's like, I hate you. We kill you. And is he evil I would, I would have looked at the haircut. screen and I would have pointed yes. at the screen and gone, no. he's bad. Now, this he's happens a man. lot. This happens a lot in modern day writing where they make the bad guy just kill their subordinates, just left, right, and center. Now, let's go back to why they're doing this. Darth Vader. Yeah. Every time Darth Vader kills somebody or threatens them, it's for a reason. The first movie, he chokes mm -hmm. that man because he's disrespecting him Admiral in the Aldo council room, right? Up, uh, then he fucks up. And he kills him and he replaces him. Admiral right. Piet fucked up, so he killed him. Yeah. There like, is a reason why he does apology that. Apology accepted. Yeah. Captain, oh, yeah, Captain yeah, Neater. Captain Neater, right. not yeah. Admiral Piet. Yeah. 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 yeah, Piet replaces him. So, like, it's just there's there is a setup, there's context, there's reasoning for things that we do in, in movies and storytelling. Zach, please take a class. I don't know if you need That's to do insane. that. Well, did anyone else notice, like, almost every single payoff and significant moment in this film is taken from something else? It's just, like, you can recognize so yes. many movies in this film. It's insane. Yep. Um, how, how, how does the villain man get to brought back to life at the beginning of the second film? It's a cum suit. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's a list. In a nutshell, yeah. It, it's a so it's, it's it's a Lazarus pit. It's a Lazarus pit. So so when he did uh he took the Lazarus pit idea from DC because he's worked or, on or it's a box to tank. A, yeah, back to tank. Back yeah. to tank. Also oh, the first yeah. uh, Fox it, movie. But it, that's but it, probably what but it was, wasn't it? But it's a snot one. It's a snot jizz one. Yeah. Mm. yeah. yeah. Elements of Matrix, I guess you could say. <laughs> did you see what it like when it shows star giver on yeah. the screen? He's T posing over it and his his look like <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Zach, are you doing the, the Christ imagery again? Like, what? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> so the first hour of the movie <sighs> is farming oh in slow God, motion. I feel like I've been oh farming in slow motion. Uh, you, you, need to, you need to really push that that part happens for a while. We dude, want yeah. people the fucking first farm grain for ages. Hour. And then it cuts away. It goes they do to ask it, to learn. They're like, teach us farming. Teach us your greatest skill farming. So that happens, okay. right? It's like a long slow motion scene of farming. And then you're like, oh, thank God they're cutting away. It's Then we get an update on the bad guys. And then it cuts back and they're still farming. And it's another long scene of slow motion farming. And you're like, God damn, could somebody talk? There's, there's a woman with like, like a, like, stop talking. Like no, a, can, you, can you farm again? Please stop. No, no, <laughs> as, farm. as there's a woman with like a plate, right? And she's got some wheat like, on a plate and she's throwing it up in the air and they do it in slow motion. They're all, <laughs> you're like, what the uh, fuck is going on here? But then it gets real retarded because then there's the battle. So you're taking on a village of Amish people, basically. Um, and the dreadnought comes through its space vagina and then it launches like fucking an armada of ships filled with troops and uh you're like dude they're fucking dead and yeah, the reason fucked. and how they defend themselves is they shield themselves with the grain they put it all around the huts they're like they're not going to destroy the grain so they won't kill us that's that's and and then somehow they were able to dig uh, a set of intricate tunnels through everywhere <laughs> with space bazookas that they just got from Cora's mm -hmm. ship i have no fucking idea i was watching it and i have no idea how they got i think the, the okay, in the first part. movie 
In the first Wait. movie, the bad guys drop off a bunch of like supplies and so guns. So they got and their stuff. supplies. So that's where okay. they got. Yeah. But th- so in these tunnels that they dig underneath the field that the bad guys land on, like by the, the Viet Nam, so like in the Nam, keep this in mind. like in Nam, like Charlie. They, they, they run the whole like the, Viet Cong. the whole tunnel system with grenades, and they wait to blow these tunnel systems, which are again under the ships of the bad guys that land on top of them. They wait for the bad guys to leave, then they blow them up. Yes, clever. very clever, smart. Mm-hmm. Um, the, the, there so are I farmers, by the way. So I want to make sure we yeah. highlight. Okay, it's arguably a meme started maybe by uh, Star Trek, but I know it's present in it, right? Where it's like, uh, how much time do you need to repair? Blah blah blah, and it's like, I'll need ten things, and it's like, you have eight. And you'd be like, yeah, oh, yeah, shit, yeah, okay, yeah. that's tight. Yeah. Um, there's movies that push it really far, right? Some of the favorites are like, you know, let's just say something ridiculous, like how long does a human live? It's like average maximum, you know, something like 80, 90, and they go, they have to live to 200. You're like, that's <laughs> not, <laughs> not going to happen. It's not gonna... So this film, they're like, we need a full set of grade. How long does that take? It's like half a cycle around uh, whatever. So half a month, on. probably. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's unclear exactly how long it would take, but he just goes three days. That's all he got. It's like I, that's not how it works. <laughs> no, especially <laughs> especially when you're doing it in slow motion. You especially know? when you're doing it in here. slow motion yeah. with no farm equipment, you just have sickles because you need that <laughs> communist <laughs> iconography. You have, you have a hovering. Grow, grow quicker! <laughs> <laughs> There's bad guys coming, don't you know? Dude, it was so fucking funny. All right, mate, all right, don't have to I fucking just, shout. I just wanted to be one of those villages and be like, if we could do it that fast, we would do it that fast. We would fast. do it that fast. <laughs> <laughs> Moron. It is in our best interest to do it as quickly and as efficiently yeah. as possible. Yeah. Now, then when they're when they still get caught early, uh, yep. because Dario Naharis one figured out that it was uh, it was all a ruse, and they're still like harvesting the grain. The guy, the guy says. There's a fucking big dreadnought coming out. He's all, hurry up. It's like, no, fucking run. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, fuck the grain at this point. Let me finish getting this grain, though. Oh, by I'm the way, did you done. see their, um, their systems gave them intricate detail of where everyone was inside yep. the buildings, but it didn't tell them about the tunnels just underneath the floor. Like, we're talking like an inch beneath. It was the their floor. one weakness. <laughs> it was the one thing the <laughs> systems <laughs> could not track. <laughs> Three-dimensional <laughs> <laughs> x-rays <laughs> on yep, every yep, single yep. building, but <laughs> no, 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 you can't see those. And it's, the, like uh, the, um, it's like the uh, uh, sonic screwdriver. It doesn't work on soil. Or wood. What was that? Well, so- oh, so- so- it doesn't work on soil. I, so- I'm playing um, along. I'm playing along. I don't know what language <laughs> she just spoke. The grain shit, man, right? Because especially if people haven't seen this movie. Holy shit. They, they pack grain around the buildings. And so they're like, we can't blow up the buildings. We need that grain. Um, right. There's a point about 40 minutes later from that point in the movie where he's like, open fire. They're like, what about the grain? He's like, don't give a fuck about the grain anymore. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you know, why are you there? Why are you fucking there? It's not even that they just collect the grain. They also like harvest it completely. Like they get like they do tons yeah. of stuff that literally they would could take... have faked it. <laughs> they didn't need the rest of your grain. Like, right. They could have put why, sand in those bags. Why is anybody doing anything? I am really fucking confused. The scar you know, giver as the scar giver. <laughs> How much do they want the scar giver, giver or do they as, want as, the as, grain? Listen, listen, I can explain. Okay, so on the moon of Velt, Admiral Noble needed <laughs> oh, to get Guder and Gore to the warriors of Tara. <laughs> <laughs> So, as <laughs> died, and he's, gone. he's dead, <laughs> dude. They're given a choice at the end. This, uh, the the uh, Cora. Not hurry that. up, everybody! Talk while you can. As is gone for a few minutes. <laughs> okay. hurry. Get your hurry, hurry, as much as I can. Hurry. She's given it's a choice. Chance. She's just given a choice to give herself up. You can't the get village. the corn to grow faster. <laughs> grow, grow. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty funny. That would have actually been funny. Yeah, that reminds me of Three Amigos, where it's like so, yeah, so like the so. wind. It's like grow, grow like the wind. Come on. Oh. <laughs> what is it that you do really well? We sow. <laughs> <laughs> so she has a chance to give herself up. Uh, Dario Naharis One comes down and says, "Give us up, because you are the most wanted person in, person in the Imperium." And she goes, "Okay." But then Dario Naharis Two says no and fi- steals her gun and fires it to hit, uh, hit the bell that starts the battle. And mm-hmm. yeah, all these people pop up out of like little little hatches that were dug in the ground, and they start blowing the shit out of all of the the five or six ships that were there. Now remember, there's like twenty or thirty that landed, but 
somehow they just uh, damaged the five or six that left their fucking doors open at some point, allowing <laughs> people to throw bo- uh, bombs in. They have to turn their ships around to fire guns for some yeah, reason. What is, what is up with these ship designs? I, it's so It's really weird. inconsistent. They look like they're flying backwards I most of the time. I shit you oh, not, the Dreadnought is powered by coal. Yeah, so funny. It's hey, so Az, beautiful. we didn't even notice you were gone, man. Hey, hey, yeah, you fucking did. I was watching. Is it a space-faring ship? Yes. No, the big dreadnought, the big main ship, <laughs> yeah. is powered by coal. Cool. Yeah. There's guys <laughs> shoveling, yeah, a bunch of guys yeah, shoveling coal in the furnace. And people are shoveling shit into it. I'm it's sure. Scary. I'm sure it's some kind of special space coal, but like, what? it's still it coal. Have any it's dilithium with, coal. Like, it's dilithium coal. Down, she jumped down into this area, right? We were a bunch of these hardworking guys that shoveling coal. She starts shooting all of them. <laughs> <laughs> like, kicks yeah. one into the furnace. Kicks they one can into be the slaves. Furnace. Yeah. Like these guys Dude, are she has forced no to do idea. this. Well, no you idea. Know what's funny is that she was on this team once upon a time. She doesn't give a fuck about these people. The worst example, which I'm by the way pretty sure is a war crime. She fakes having a wound. A bunch of medics come to help her. Dude, and they're like, yes. can't find the wound. What's wrong with her? Like, we need to help. We can try to help you. And then she's like, Haha, I'm actually alive. And he's like, What? And then she just shoots yeah, him. Yeah. I felt weird about know. that scene too. It's like Finn going, "Oh no, my be- my buddy died." <laughs> Almost yeah. certain, deliberately killing a bunch of medics in the middle of a war is not cool. Not yeah. cool. It's As, against the Space Geneva Convention. Remember when it took us an hour to break down the trailer on Real BBC? Oh God! It's, <laughs> it's, I, I understand why now. Yeah, it's it's two hours of this. It's two hours Jeez. of that. It is. Yeesh. So uh, then the ship. Well, my favorite part was when the ship took uh, about ten minutes to crash from about thirty thousand feet. So it wasn't like uh, in the upper atmosphere or anything. So she she uh, plants some charges on the the engine. By the way, I shit you not is a is a head it's sculpture a like- of a face <laughs> that's like puking <laughs> nuclear spaghetti. So if you blow that up, it's like a set decoration from Batman too. and Robin or it something. Is, like it that. is. <laughs> Doesn't it look it's weird? At one point, it's like, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> are you attaching bombs to my face? Oh. Like, yes, and 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 then you know the guards finally go up there and go, oh look, there are charges right when they're, they're bombs. Oh, oh they Gary, are. that was oh, so shit, wrong. Only when they see the bag, they're like, the way, wait, the way that's bad. edited, right? They cut to guy who's just in the middle of the catwalk and he's just like mm-hmm. and then she yeah, looks at him cut back to him again cut back to her then she's like oh no and then he's like oh what what do you do then she pulls out a gun and shoots him i was like why did you fucking edit that so badly <laughs> like, I, I don't know but it did take the giant ship a good five minutes to crash uh yes. and while it's crashing uh the scar giver and dario and naharis one have a battle they as have a lightsaber fight they have a lightsaber yeah. fight through a ship that's crashing uh, it is it, the most Zack Snyder action scene ever. It is un fucking believable. <laughs> it's fire explosions, lightsabers, punching, kicking, and falling through a spaceship. It's it's just like yes, yes, this is what you wanted. I and get then it. somehow on that crashing ship, they fight. Um, she gets actually saved by a man, which was shocking. She gets saved by mm-hmm. uh, Dario Naharis too, but then she gets the killing blow. Then she drags the injured Dario Naharis too. By the way, ship is crashing from about thirty thousand feet. That's where mm-hmm. airline. It's like is. sideways at this point. Um, it's totally sideways, and all the, everything's falling down and everything. And she manages to get into a escape ship and fly out as the ship is crashing. <laughs> and, nope. She it's squeezes out. It she squeezes, squeezes out. She okay. left the tailgate open, and the guy didn't get flung out. That wasn't no. strapped in. Oh, oh it's yeah. so fucking funny because it's, it's rocking around. It's crazy. It's right, and then right at the end, they just show him sitting on the fucking like you know the ball right the behind like, her. I'm fine. Yeah. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Like I didn't, I didn't fall out. Rock around. Or just well, he did die. So fuck it. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. shot once. Yeah. You know, <laughs> just, just shot once. So, yeah. so, yeah. so the Cut ship to him dead. The sh- yeah, the ship crashes. Um, Dario Naharis. Uh, uh, one dies, gets his head chopped off. Dario Naharis two is mortally wounded because he's white, uh, and then she crashes, and of course he dies. But like as the dreadnought crashes, there's like four or five of their ships left. Then here comes Space Antifa with two black women. <laughs> late as the fucking heroes late, and they shoot these five ships, and everybody's like, "Yeah, we got saved by Space Antifa." And, that was uh, so stupid. <laughs> and then and then okay. Dario Naharis two dies. Uh, guys, spoiler. Oh, yeah. you forgot the robot. You forgot oh, Anthony Hopkins. Uh, just- oh, how yeah. can I forget? Oh, Anthony Roboticans. Yes. He, um, he comes he in and pulls one, a Legolas. 
one talking scene in this film where he's yeah. like, she says, you know, the thing they'd want the least is for you to attack them. And he's like, okay. <laughs> and he turns up later and punches like three people. And he's like, yeah. I've helped. I have helped, yes. Oh, he blew up a spider tank. Of which they had like five, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, whatever. don't forget he mowed down like a, an entire platoon of soldiers too Does with he his mow gun. Them down? Yeah, or yeah. He, he, he was seen, punching like, people, literally shooting the shit out of everybody in one scene. And that's I after. Need to re- I can't even saying this. I need to rewatch it because I got to do EFAP on this. Yeah, thing. yeah. But, um, oh, no, I do is he just immune to all damage from plasma? Sure, looks like it. Yeah, yes. it looks like yeah. it. Yes, I think so. Why yeah. the fuck did they get decommissioned? <laughs> The because most- they refuse to fight. Or yeah. why don't they use the, the armor that he has for the people? Or how about they use Put more than just the, the two rocket launchers yeah, that, that they use <laughs> oh, that they have access to? Yeah. We forgot to mention that the big background on uh, the Scar Giver was that she was in charge of protecting uh, the princess. The daughter, yeah. And uh, remember, she was an off-worlder who was trained by uh, the regent. Uh, Foreigner. And- the, a foreigner, by the way, they make yep. the point that out that they are absolutely uh, white supremacists, and mm-hmm. except for the diversity that they hire, but whatever, yeah. I, that's a little inconsistent. <laughs> um, and this girl is a healer. She remember in the first movie, well, none of you did because mm-hmm. you didn't watch it. Uh, she <laughs> healed a bird. So yes. um, during resurrected uh, it resurrected during it. during the it. whole Caesar thing, uh, she <laughs> is told to shoot uh, the daughter, which. Uh, Right before she does, the daughter goes, I forgive you. And she goes, don't. And then she shoots. And then, like, all these little sparkles come out of the girls to keep yeah, everything. She, she bleeds magic. She bleeds yeah. magic. <laughs> and light. Like. And light. And uh, we find out at the end that she's not dead. She, yeah, of surprise, course surprise. she's not dead. Wow. Big, shocking. She will now we got to go find her. Figure that out the first, uh, first movie. Top <laughs> five. Um, uh, Gary, did you know as well? Because uh, no hate to Cary Elwes, like I, I enjoy him as an actor, but he he, he was fucking he was saying he was did you, when he was on the floor watching his daughter about to get shot. He goes no, no, <laughs> no, no. 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 <laughs> He was much better. That was was the bad take in the director's cut. It's going to be the good take. He he was Uh much. He was much better in uh, Ministry of Ungentlemanly uh, Warfare. Was yeah, Yeah. was good. Was also which that that. was the same role that he's kind of had in the uh, Operation Fortune Rooster Gare from the year. Yeah, I'm I'm fine for him just doing that role role every single time. Good role for him. Don't be a king. Don't be a king. I'm here for the for the comeback. Yeah, Nemesis dies. Dario Naharis one and two dies. Um, uh, Turok. Uh, the, the, the screaming lady makes the, somehow it. doesn't oh, die. Oh, screaming lady! By the way, she does scream. It's kind of a half-ass scream. Yeah, she makes it. She makes She's it. A... She surprise. Yeesh! Didn't you love her Which background, is... Mahler? Well, uh, I was in a mining colony, and then Ray Fisher <laughs> came in and killed everyone, and took me away, and he made me happy. Well, then Antifa came in and saved her. Yeah. Yeah, I Ray, Ray right. Fisher. Right yeah. Honestly, it dude, it's started to blend together. I mean, we've we kind of made fun of that scene a few times, but it is it is one of the worst fucking exposition scenes. It's the character scene. Gary mentioned it, but like it's introduced by um, what is his name? Titus. Titus. Like, yeah, Titus. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's fucking making me blend it with Fallout. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Gladiator <laughs> character. Um, he's, he's like, right, this is the character scene where we all share our characters. Okay, so I'll go first. <laughs> yes, like, that's how they started. Not even exaggerating. No, guys, for real. I need you to know this, audience. Not exaggerating. He goes, we need to tell each other our backstories. I'll go first. Yes. And then tells you mean, his backstory. You mean that, that thing they should have done in the first movie? <laughs> yeah, not 50 <laughs> minutes into the second one. Uh, and then, like, there's all this familiarity afterwards. Like, oh, we've we've been friends forever. It's like, I don't know any of these people. And then, of course, there's the training hey, scene with the people. villagers. And it's always like, hey, look, little girl with a big gun can shoot it well. Let's do it three times. You know, it's just the most basic shit. Uh, so by the end, I, I tweeted about this. Uh, the girl who's the key to everything now has to go find the girl who is the key to everything. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of keys. <laughs> Good Lord, man. It's just an endless rabbit hole of nonsense. Yeah, this will be. You just don't understand. That's what your problem is. That sounds too good for you. You're, <laughs> you're media illiterate. Yeah. He just want everything spoon fed to you. He's too uh, deep for you. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, can't wait to watch it again. Uh, but uh, whatever, <laughs> whatever. Uh, maybe there'll be better takes. Maybe we should have some. Maybe, maybe we'll get the better takes. But now. again, there's two great shows out there that you can watch that are both finished now. So if you want to binge them, go right ahead. 
Uh, and it's Shogun and um, and the gentleman. The gentleman. Sh- Shogun yeah. has one more episode. Yeah, one, oh, it does, yeah, it's got one more. Yeah. It's got one more. Sorry, my bad. Great ending to the last episode. I oh, fucking phenomenal. It's at Penelope. Oh, shit. I fell mm-hmm. behind on it because I went to Vegas, but uh, yeah. not that much. I thought that. I, so the ninth one. Okay, so we still got one more. That's good. That's good. I can mm-hmm. talk about it next week. I just want to say that, is it not nuts that in just a week's time everyone will forget huge the three huge movies Zack Snyder got full control over? Like that's just something that happened. Mm-hmm. It's it's destiny. Like so few creators get to have that opportunity. There he goes. Yep. <laughs> just this is not fair. I, I, He'll boast is the most successful though. He'll say, "Oh, it had so many watch hours. You just have no idea." I do feel like I like I do have a regret with the whole Snyder thing. Um, when I met with him, I told him I was looking forward to Army of the Dead, and I fucking regret that. Um, <laughs> fuck. Shouldn't it have sounded, told him that, it, dude. How do you? <laughs> How how in the fuck do you fuck up zombies, zombies in Vegas? In Vegas. Yeah, <laughs> found a way. I, I feel like will always find a way. You, you could have recorded me for the past week, and it would have been a <laughs> movie. Than that. <laughs> Mine can all drunk and gay. <laughs> yeah, like, if, if he gets Rebel Moon two, three, four, five, you know, like split into two, fucking whatever, a six movie trilogy thing, like that's gonna be so. What a waste of fucking money. Like, Netflix yeah. have to be coming to realize the mistake they've made. You would think. Yep. Well, um, I mean, you know what's, you know what's crazy is uh, Netflix is looking at their uh, deal with Snyder and their deal with Adam Sandler, and they're like, "Man, Sandler makes such quality <laughs> films compared to Adam." Yes. They're, they're, compared to Zack Snyder, <laughs> they're cheaper. <laughs> They're cheaper True, for yeah, one. Way cheaper. Uh, is, that, cheaper. is that uncut gems that Adam Sandler did that's like yeah. really good? So yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw a really strange comparison <laughs> that for Inside Out 2, that they really like took a lot of inspiration from uncut gems. What? And oh, I was like, oh, fuck. And I was like, what part? Like, <laughs> what are you talking about? Like, I don't understand how any of those would correlate. What's weird is like Adam Sandler, he's like this guy that like showed up to the NBA and dunked on everybody one time and just continues to be retarded for the rest of his life. He actually can act if he wants to try, mm-hmm. but he's too busy just like, I just want to make retarded movies with my friends. I respect the hell out of that. Yeah, yeah. I love Adam Sandler movies. They're to respect horrible. that. Actually. Other horrible. ridiculous sticks was actually pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> So it's funny. What was the, he made another movie where it was like a serious movie. He had like cancer in the movie, I think, or it was a movie about somebody with cancer. Huh? Uh, uh, ja- the movie Jack and Jill gave me cancer. They had the film Comedians. They had the film Click that had like this. It was it a wasn't... comedy, but then became serious. I don't what, know. Yeah, that's true. What's the name of it? Click. Click. I think you're thinking of uh, comedians not, or, or, or funny uh, people. Not, funny people. Not, that's not funny people. There was another one I feel like that was another like, cancel one. Happy damn. Gilmore. No, <laughs> two. Happy yeah, Gilmore. Which one? Which one am I talking about? Uh, the it, fault in our hearts. Is it? Is that the one? Little no. Nick Struck love. Rain over Bangle, me. Rain Bangle. over me. Rain Falling over me. Stars, that's oh. it. Oh. Rain over me. That's the one I'm thinking about. I didn't see it, but I heard that was a good acting performance from him. Rain over me. Bro, I got this fucking light yeah. right in my goddamn face. I see right. it. <laughs> <laughs> You're glowing, Ryan. You're it looks glowing. like you got cum on your face. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Is, this, is that what it looks like to you, X-Ray Girl? Uh, no. <laughs> Ryan, Ryan is so disappointed that everyone's laughing at that. <laughs> yeah. like, hey. It's moving. <laughs> Speaking of things that are weird That's visually, gravity, Ryan. That's uh, called gravity. Do um, Jeremy, when you do DJ <laughs> Cobra tonight, uh, what is the press secretary's name? Uh, Corinne Jean Pierre. Jean Pierre, yeah. go back and look at her press conference today. The way her eye makeup is when she closes her eyes, it looks like her. She's got a like eyeballs it is it was really? i was watching it at the gym i'm like oh my fucking god she looks like a demon uh every time she closes and blinks her eyes because she blinks a lot so the way her eye mac it, it looks like when she closes her eyes there's another eye there like it's yeah. it's really fucking funny i was like right, cracking I'm, up at the gym watching it i was like oh shit people are looking at me but I was really um fucking yeah. Retarded too. yeah it was weird today <laughs> So can we can sure? we talk about uh, uh, other stories about women that shouldn't be in places where they are? That's got a lot. That's a lot of discussion. That's <laughs> oh. gonna be a lot of Warhammer discussion. Warhammer 40k. <laughs> wow. oh. oh man, Maybe we can talk about this because uh, we've talked about it throughout the week. I watched you guys talk about it, but we didn't on FNT, so I think we should. As how do you feel about this? 
Thank you, ass. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Oh man! Custodies. So this is the first inkling, Warhammer fans, of uh, mainstream culture getting a hold of your stuff. And uh, I'm kind of I'm afraid of the show. You know, it's, Custodies is uh, Henry Cavill's favorite army. So I don't know if he's gonna stick with this or you know make his own thing. There's or what. some like fucking four chan leak that it's like Amazon wants to force this into Henry Cavill's new show. That's right. why they're making them put this in. There. I don't know like, about that, it, but it feels very four chan-y to me. But we've seen four chan shit turn out to be real before. Yeah, yeah. Like Rise of Skywalker leaks. Right? <laughs> yeah, uh, remember those? Oh well, yeah, and Reddit with uh, Game of Thrones leaks. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, I, again, I, I'm not a, I'm not into Warhammer, but obviously it's a massive fan base. I know, like As, you know, where the fuck did As go? Where did he? He go? said, "Fuck this, I was out of here." I'm out. <laughs> He'll be back in 38 <laughs> seconds. It's all right. Yeah. It's all good. <laughs> Just gotta crank one out. Yeah. Oh, and he's back. <laughs> he's, <laughs> and he's done. There you go. Hey, there you go. Hey. congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> He, he saw he, he saw the come on Ryan's face and got a few ideas. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I just gotta clear my, my mind real quick. <laughs> Remember when Az put that shit all over his face that time? Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that man. was not shit. That was Doctor <laughs> Balls. Doctor oh. Balls. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. But yeah, like, I, I'm not. I, I'm not. Uh, any, I'm not into Warhammer or anything like that, but I know there's a massive uh, fan base. There's a lot of uh, passion, and there's a lot of excitement for Henry Cavill being involved in this project. Uh, and now, with this latest news, there's been a lot of controversy, and it's really put a a, a lot of uh, damper on a lot of that excitement. So, is there actual speculation that he may walk away from the project? No, there's no, 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 no. It's okay. just, again, it's just like for like fan speculation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No. Well, it's just 4chan leaks that are like Amazon really wants to have them in there. That's why they're changing this so they'd be forced to follow the lore. Mm, like that. Okay. I'm just really okay. interested because that is his favorite army, and and this is what Warhammer has done officially. So will he stay true to his actual army or will he try and and uh, which ones to stick to the God Emperor Trump based off of? The God well, he, he's he's he is emperor, emperor of mankind. That's that's yeah. what that one was. Okay. He was actually playing the emperor. Nice. Custodes occurred. They started off. The custodies started off as pretty much like emperor's guards. Yeah. He's been uh, dead for and, a long and time. Then, so and they sort of well, he's he's dead on. He's not dead, but he is dead. He's dead. They sacrifice a lot of psychers every day. <laughs> is it a thousand psychers yeah. every day to keep him alive? Um, it's all part of a major plan. I don't know. Uh, but um, he, this is this is such an insane move uh, because because Warhammer is is very much uh, number one. It's a very expensive hobby. Mm -hmm. First and foremost, yes. it's a very expensive yes. hobby. So if if you want to get in on this this hobby, if you want to get yourself a you know a decent sized army to take the battlefield, you, you're not spending thirty forty quid. Uh, you're spending hundreds, pushing probably thousands of of dollars. And it's also a hobby that requires a lot of love, mm -hmm. because if, if yeah, if you're doing the the actual tabletop fighting, you're getting the armies, uh, you're painting the armies, uh, so there's a lot of work that involves in that. There's a lot of care. There's a lot, a lot of time. Of, yeah, it's 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 about investment, and another investment in Warhammer is the law, uh, and the fact that the law is so rich and the uh, the law is so interesting. Um, no matter what side, faction, whatever that you choose. There are plenty of females within Warhammer, mm -hmm. but there's also a lot of lore as regards to the creation of the Custodes, which are the sons of nobles. Uh, there's uh, lore as regards to the Astartes and, and, and things like that. There's also the sisters, yep. and the sisters are essentially the female Custodes. It's kind of like almost a, a mirror. But now... Uh, oh, oh, oh. Now we're dealing with either leftist infiltration, and we know that they like to take away uh, male, what they class as male-dominated spaces, because they are uh, broken, petty uh, people who probably don't even get involved in this. I'm sure the people who either 3D print stuff or 
the people who don't even get involved in the um, franchise itself uh, are loving this sort of thing. Or it is Amazon. It is Amazon that's saying, well, we want we want female representation for our art because we've got to hit all of these ESG DIE. But it's right. But Whichever... aren't, there, aren't there a bunch of other factions that are all female and stuff as well, though? Yeah, the, yeah. the sisters. Yeah, the sisters are battle. Yeah, yeah, sisters so, are battle. Then you so got that's the part to me that it's like, yeah, you can include all those people. Like you, Eldar, yeah, Eldar right have male and females in mm -hmm. the Eldar. Mm -hmm. Same with Chaos. Um, <laughs> You know, Slanesh, for example, it's Slanesh is uh, <laughs> trans people, basically. You know, it's just it's just a sewn together, zippeted bunch of uh, weirdos. Uh, so um, it, it doesn't it doesn't matter, sort of which whether it's leftism uh, infiltration or whether or not it's uh, Amazon that's pushing this decision. What you're doing is is you're telling that your audience, and the worst thing is they just lie to their audience. Warhammer came out with there's always been women in custodies we just haven't ever said it for 30 years right. and it's never been written down for 30 years and it's always been referred to as sons but because it didn't say <laughs> and not daughters hello get with it whichever way you, you want to play that whichever stupid fucking behavior they want to do as regards to this all they are going to do is piss off their customers and and this is an expensive hobby. So when you're yeah. pissing off customers within an expensive hobby, you are <laughs> running a huge risk. Now, the, um, the actual revenue that Warhammer brings in is is has exploded, uh, particularly since COVID, because of uh, yeah. you know people being stuck indoors, st stuck indoors looking for stuff. And uh, there's been a couple, but tons of great games have come go, out recently well, but those people leave the hobby or those people say well I, i'm gonna stay in the hobby but fuck this i'm not gonna spend money actually on licensed product uh and and feed them because they're gonna start creating this shit i, I will buy a 3d print and i'll fucking 3d print these things instead now yeah that was uh, one thing i was wanting to get to as is that this is like the worst time for them to go and piss off their customers because they've had an issue for years with people 3d printing models yeah and, and now you got to the point where people are like fuck this i'm just gonna go buy a 3d printer screw your license i'm gonna go and, and print my own shit yeah so if you're not gonna be lore accurate move. yeah we why do be. my figures have to be yeah but it just again it's one of these things that feel like it hasn't been done for any reason to enhance the law it no. hasn't been done in any re in any way, shape, or form to improve Warhammer. It's simply been done as an ideological decision. Because why? It's not. It's not like Warhammer lacks female representation. It's no. not like it even does that. So, so you can only think that it's been done out of spite. And when companies again start spitting in the face of their customers. This is this you get what's going to happen, which is a bunch of people are going to start leaving the hobby. COVID's over, COVID is done and dusted, and 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 people and the world's getting back to normal. And as much as I don't think there's going to be lockdowns again, people won't accept lockdowns again. So I don't think that uh, Warhammer is going to get a, a third wave of, of uh, growth because of uh, what's been going on. Mm -hmm. and, and there are plenty of other hobbies, there are plenty of other places that people can go to. It'll cost them far less money, save them money, and they can sell their armies. They can they can yeah. eBay them. They can do anything that they want them with them. But the, uh, somebody said, uh, I think it was uh, yesterday on, um, was it the real BBC or no no? It's on side scrollers yesterday, uh, and people saying, "Oh, this is not the final. This is not the final boss of how this is going to go." Right. And I said, "No, the final boss is the customer." That is always going to be the final boss. doesn't mm. matter which ideological aspects you put in. It doesn't matter if they make all custodies female now and they rewrite law and history. That doesn't matter. That isn't the final boss, the customer is. Yep. Because the customer is the one that can take their money right away from the franchise. Mm -hmm. We've already seen the um, the head of uh, Wizards of the Coast resign yesterday. They're yep. gone. Fuck off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so you know, if you think this is something that's untouchable or if Warhammer thinks this is, oh, we're too big to fail... Ooh, just have a look at fucking Disney right now. Yeah. Well, Good they've luck. had issues in the past, though. I mean, they, they were fa facing bankruptcy, I, I want to say, back in the 90s. So it, it's not like this is the first time they've run into financial challenges. And that's what's going to happen. I, I don't know. I'm sure there are going to be people who do abandon the hobby because of what's going on. But I think that a lot of people are going to be like, fuck you, 3D printing my models now. They're just going to abandon Games Workshop. 
Yeah, if you can afford yeah. Warhammer, you can afford a 3D printer. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. can dodge yeah. a wrench, you can yeah. dodge a ball, ball. baby. Um, <laughs> but uh, no, but like, again, so it comes down to like, I know you said there was other, you know, representation, you know, females and all that shit. No, anybody that talks about representation does not actually believe in representation. It's no. 100 percent bullshit. Yeah. That is a lie. And anybody who says the words representation unironically, they're liars and they don't believe in it. It's all about infesting their bullshit into it, because if they truly did care about representation, they would not have a problem with almost anything because almost everything has representation, proper representation. You know what? Men like things that men like, and women like things that women like. And when you start trying what? to, and when Insane. you start trying to intertwine shit, like you know, George Lucas didn't make Star Wars to become the biggest IP in the world. He made Star Wars because he had a story to tell, and he had a vision, and he created that vision, and it appealed to the masses because they were drawn to his vision, not because he was like, well, let me sit down and what can I do to get more women involved? Well, we need to, we're obviously going to get men because they're into sci-fi. We need women. And Star Wars became the biggest thing in the fucking world. Um, this MCU became, the Marvel Cinematic Universe became the biggest thing in movies because what happened? A lot of those fucking douchebags that were like, picking on nerds in high school suddenly started to show up to fucking Marvel movies because normies were looking at going, holy shit, these things are awesome. And as soon as you started to pander to an audience suddenly that didn't want it, it went down the drain. It, it's representation is bullshit. It always has been. Uh, and because the people pushing it don't actually care about it. They care about infesting a popular thing with their ideology. They That's don't want to join. They want to conquer. That's it. Yes. Yeah. That's it's, it. It, we we all know inclusion means exclusion. Well, whatever word they use is, is yes. the reverse opposite because yes. of the gaslighting. Inclusion is exclusion. Representation doesn't mean representation at all. It means ta again taking away. You you do need to represent within your franchises. One hundred percent. You do need to. You need to represent your fucking customer base. Yep. Yeah. That's what you need mm. to represent. But this this whole level, we've heard this talk from Sweet Baby Inc. We've heard this talk from. Other companies, and I even saw it today where some guy was writing for, for White Dwarf, had a horrible take, got absolutely fucking annihilated, and is now trying to do damage control. And it's a word that keeps going over and over again because it's a buzzword in their echo chambers. And that word is joy. We need to bring joy. And, and again, it's another one of those insidious words now because it doesn't mean bring joy to people whatsoever. It means take away and bring to, to our ideology. That's what joy mm -hmm. means. It means to subvert. It means to take over. It means to, like you said, Gary, conquer. That's what that word joy actually means now. We saw the CEO of Sweet Baby Inc. stand in front of a group of game developers and say, don't make games for your customers. Make games that make people like me happy. That's what she said. Her actual words, it's not, it's not, uh, in any way, shape, misconstruing, taken out of context. She literally told game developers, stop making games for your customer base. Because if you do make games for your customer base, then I don't get me in it. And yep. they've made a whole career now of going into a company and going, um, thought about making them black and look like me and uh, have my exact same ideals. Maybe, you know, but she, another one using the word joy. It means to subvert, it means to take over, it means to conquer, it means to fucking infest. That's what the word joy means, and they're everywhere now. And, and yeah, Let when, them die. And you hear it repeated from the same people who all went to the same schools and same yeah. school of thought. Uh, and it's it's just it's infested everything. But it doesn't it it's it's forced it's it's analytics and it's forced analytics. It's it's doesn't even work. Uh, it was mm. brought up yesterday on Open Bar, I think, by you, Mahler. It's like w when has this fucking worked? Yeah. When has this worked? Uh, and show me one example. Give me, give me an example where it's actually fucking worked. Uh, maybe early on, uh, people bring up like Euphoria or some other shit. That plays to a very specific audience. And make that shit all day long. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. I don't give a shit. But uh, when, when, or the representation isn't adding to anything. It's destroying it. Uh, it, it the way they're using it, as as said, it's exclusionary. It's absolutely exclusionary. Uh, Rebel Moon was a great uh, example of that. What uh, Disparu tweeted up the one nice thing I think Variety said about it was at least it was diverse. <laughs> As if that. 
What a thing to say. It was, at least it was, it was god awful uh, shit, but at least it was diverse. <laughs> well, that helps your diversity, doesn't it? Hey, keep hey, shoveling you know that what? garbage in. The man. Marvels was the highest grossing movie by a black <laughs> female director ever. <laughs> pull, pull this uh, article up real quick. I love how uh, Eric Kane uh, worded this. Netflix renews and also cancels The Witcher as the first <laughs> glimpse of season four drops. Oh, my God. <laughs> Props on that headline. That is fucking good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That was good. So they did the table read yesterday, and they got – I don't know if you watched the responses in the comments. They got just grilled, man. Absolutely grilled. You almost feel uh, oh. sorry for uh, Dollar Store Hemsworth uh, – but um dude they, nah. they you could no nah, yeah, I, 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 I don't like it's gonna be hard uh, uh, and netflix chose lauren hisrich over henry cavill this thing is a dead show walking we don't even need to read the article you can go read the article by eric i just wanted to show that headline because because they did they so this was supposed to be seven seven seasons uh yes uh henry was contract contracted for three uh he contracted three um and then left uh, and now it's it's five seasons. Now I'm very curious to see uh, as how many episodes each season is. Uh, well, first of all, they, uh, it, this has not been renewed for season five. They said they they themselves they themselves said we hope yes we we hope to get a fifth season and that would be that would be it that, that will be, be it. it. I uh, but, the original uh, reports yeah, this, they're going to film them like at the same time. Yep. Well, this is this is what we speculate. We speculate that this is they're probably going to do season four, cut it in half, and call that season five. Regardless, yeah, of yeah. Or not they get like it ten episodes, and there'll be five episodes each, or one will be six, and the other one will be four, kind of like what they did at the end of Game of Thrones. But I don't, I don't think they're going to get ten more episodes. Mate. No, I, 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 I don't. I don't. It's pretty hilarious. But Netflix, Netflix is the king. They can put something good out. You know, I mentioned it before. They like in the same month they put out Damsel and the Gentleman. You know, it's, at, but that's pretty normal. They there's they have more variety now. They definitely have more variety. What show did I just saw got put up? Oh, you forgot. could say diversity. <laughs> 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 My God! But um, you know, they're getting old USA shows, and they're going to start putting up older. No, they put yeah. up Black Sales. What's funny is they I was did trying to put up Black Sales, Black yeah. Sales, yeah. and that's cool. And they're going to fucking do well with that. So I, I went to Rebel Moon to start my watch party, and you know how they did that little trailer thing before? And if anybody watched it, they showed a little trailer, and then it went into the movie. It kept on going into black sales for me. So it played, I'd hit Rebel Moon, or like, just drop Rebel Moon, hit Rebel Moon, I'll watch the trailer. Then it goes to black sales, and I'm like, shit. <laughs> Netflix I actually, is like, are you sure? To get you to, yeah, to get you to watch <laughs> I want to watch black sales. I mean, it knows. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I mean, good for them for getting like these older shows that they assumed everybody has watched from you know ten years ago. Five, th they're gonna be on Netflix again, and this is their this is what made them this is what made them what they are. They're mm -hmm. gonna have a bunch of old shows that you know I never caught Black Sales. I think I'm gonna watch it, and uh, and it's a good show by the way. Uh, and it's they're gonna kill. They're gonna kill. Only streaming service that's technically profitable. Um, Max. Turned a profit a year ago, and I think a Warner Discovery turned a, in, a bit of a profit. In 2023, Warner Brothers Discovery streaming was had a profit of a hundred million dollars. Yep. In everybody else. So technically, they were, uh, but everybody else lost billions, billions. So the streaming war is over. It's absolutely over. Netflix won, and because uh, they were there first, they have the best UI. They right uh, when they were losing, when they were starting to lose stuff at the beginning of the streaming wars, is the only time they lost subscribers. They fucking rallied, uh, stood behind Dave Chappelle, which was good, and mm -hmm. uh, smart. and got they smarter. Just keep up in their prices, and people just keep signing right? up. Yeah, and and now they yeah. have commercials, right? They have. I have. I don't use the commercial tier, but they I think it's going to be twenty five dollars for the premium, uh, starting in the summer. For the non ads, uh, yeah. everybody's going to start licensing their, their stuff to Netflix again. If any studio That's wants to survive, uh, mm -hmm. so, what did I hear today? Sony wants to bid to buy Paramount. Potentially, That's yeah, fucking yeah. terrible yes. idea. So another yeah. old Hollywood studio is about to bite the dust. Like, uh, and then there's a huge article we couldn't go over it today because it's fucking a tome. Um, yeah, Sony in talks to team up with Apollo and bid for Paramount Global. That's bad. 
Uh, there's a huge article called uh, the. It's, it's got to be an IP it, farm, surely. Here, Chris Gore sent it to me. I, I'm, I might do a video. It's like the complete history of Hollywood. I covered a little bit of, of it on the Nooner. By the way, shout out to Frank. Shout, shout out, out, to, shout out Frank to Frank Gore. Gore. Shout Our out boy. to yep. Frank Gore. Uh, yep. Uh, he's out there, of course. Uh, we talked about it. He had a a, a real life stroke. Uh, not going to stop making stroke jokes. Jokes. That's though. not a no. masturbation joke. Yeah. No. By the way. Yeah. yeah. The yeah. life stop and death jokes. The the jokes. <laughs> I just had a stroke. Are you, are, are you, are you, are you having never one stop. too? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll Ryan? never forget that time Gary had a stroke in Orlando. <laughs> I texted Ron. I'm like, we have to end this. He's Dude, saying, I was so he's, tired. He's about okay. to say the N word. We have to end it. It's like, <laughs> he like completely lost. All I, I had here. like a stroke Tourette stroke at the end. Yeah, <laughs> that was wild. Cocksucker, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, when I was on when I was on Tuesday night's main event, I like I stumbled over a couple words. I was pretty tired as, as well, yeah, and I'm like, God, I must have been standing too close to Chris. I, I caught it. <laughs> uh, yeah. So this oh, this is an incredibly long article that goes through the complete history of Hollywood, all the ups and downs, but it does really get into it. Uh, the only parts I completely disagree with, if you want to just control F and search, I believe. The word government. Um, right here. Profit. It's mentioned four times. It's mentioned four times. Profit will, of course. Yeah, no, go back to that first okay, one. This one. Go back to that. Profit will, of course, uh, find a way. There will always be shit to watch, but without radical intervention, whether by the government or the no, worker no. or the workers, mm. the workers, the, the workers, the fucking workers. Uh, the industry will become unrecognizable. Already has, and the it's writing late. trade, uh, the kind that we actually uh, that earns a living, will be obliterated. No, like the union writer will be obliterated. What it'll be is gig work, kind of what it probably should be anyway. Uh, hit it again because I do think they mentioned it again. Like government interference, which means tax government interference means your money. Your money to bail this fucking industry out. Fuck no. Fuck no. Uh, over the next two decades, the freshen, uh Yeah, they, they talk about forced antitrust. There's been a lot of government interference in Hollywood anyway. And, you know, government some of it was for competition. Uh, the government could also increase competition directly by funding more public film and television. <laughs> No, we propaganda would anyone, fund us. Uh, we, we already fund enough, and there's a lot of private propaganda out there, too. Uh, it could establish a universal basic income for artists and writers. Ami, um, gobbledygook. That's a bad fucking idea. That's a bad, bad idea. Um, I got a bad feeling about this. If you want to enforce something, uh, re, uh, uh, Sinfin was something that... Ba Long story short, a studio couldn't own a theater, uh, and uh, I believe a studio couldn't own a broadcaster, and and Clinton got rid of that in 1996, and that's what's mm. making all these huge conglomerates. I don't know. We have some laws in the books, some antitrust laws, some monopoly laws that we can enforce, and maybe that would uh, make some more competition, but I think more importantly, you just allow it to fail. You allow it to fail. There will always be, as as that person said, Entertainment will find a way. Profit will find a way. We will find a way to entertain ourselves, and it will just fracture the way it should. The way it should, mm -hmm. as Jeremy pointed out. You know, the, the gaming industry is all over the world. It's not centralized. It's all over the world. They, sure, there's big corporations that try to gobble up a lot of the market, but the independent games, they have they have space. They are making money. They are they are making waves, and uh, that's what we need to do with entertainment. Uh, At some point, sometimes they just take over. Like Hell Divers and Powell World just completely obliterates yeah, the mainstream yeah. games, uh, which is just again, you're never going to see that in Hollywood. You're never going to see an independent movie that just absolutely n destroys the biggest movie. You know, you'll see an independent movie occasionally take off and and you know do well. Some like Sound of Freedom, for instance, that came yep. out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. But we're talking like some of these games, they will obliterate some of the the mainstream games. That uh, what was. Had a bit remastered that sold like two, three million copies last year. Uh, a game made by three fucking guys, yep. you know, uh, FPS. Diesel Company, one person. Yep. So, I mean, it's, yeah. it's just a whole different world. It's a whole Valheim. different world. Valheim. That was what? That was yeah. three, that was six, I think. It was six people yeah. when it, yeah. that came out. Mm hmm. 
when it's deep, so, uh, but it's, that's, it's, it's so dip the market is so different from a gamer though to to a to a movie goer um yeah. you know because there's there's such a sort of eclectic group i mean you could say eclectic group with, with films but films have just become so homogenized well, it's a time enough, commitment enough too it really it's, is. so yeah there's a group that's willing to immerse themselves in a story and spend hours on it that you know which is basically like watching a tv series right I'm just going to mm -hmm. spend my time watching this game. And then there's the film group out there. And sure, there's tons of cinephiles. And there'll always be films out there. Just not as much. Just not as much. And, and gaming, is so, gaming is giving so many people opportunities. I mean, it's given us an opportunity. We are all blessed to be on a panel with the greatest gamer on YouTube, Gary. You know, right. I mean, look at that right there. So if you uh, all of your gaming questions, direct them at Nerdrotic. He'll, uh, you know. <laughs> you made a plushie about you, so. it. We yeah. did. We did. Yeah. did. Hey, uh, X-ray girl. We we have a we have a sponsor for my gaming streams. Don't do we not? Uh, we do. Yeah, we, we do. do. Yeah, I, I am up. fucking embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> Look at how sexy she is on the yeah. model. Gamer subs. No, uh, Gary is everything right and wrong with YouTube. On one hand, he's this <laughs> phenomenal content creator, makes amazing content. He's a great live streamer. And then you always go, it's always about people that aren't good at shit. That, and then he goes and plays fucking games and gets more viewers than all of us. It's not even close. You're just jealous of his titty milk. <laughs> That's right. We got titty milk. Titty we got milk. titty milk. Link in the description. Speaking I'm pretty of shitty milk. Shout I had out to Christy Mayer. Uh, shout out to Christy <laughs> Mayer. Uh, oh my god. Hey, uh, Chrissy, have the DNA results come in yet? Do we know? <laughs> Do we know? No, I also I think the pigmentation comes in a couple days after. What was, so we would know now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, X-ray girl, what what's the lemonade? Uh, I had some lemonade. I think it was just called anime tits lemonade or something like that. <laughs> anime <laughs> boobs lemonade. Uh, there's a, there's also I, anime thighs. Yeah. Uh, anime girl thighs. A anime anus lemonade. Get yeah. yours here. <laughs> Gamer oh God, lap it up. Hey, I'm Guacamole supposed to read Gamer this. Fart. There's a few good ones. We out have there. uh FNT caps, right? Hell yeah. FNT Vegas. <gasps> 2024 uh we're giving them away so uh i gotta be sure to follow i'm reading this my wife wrote it uh be sure to follow nerdrotic on instagram and watch for our swag sunday monthly giveaways next one is the exclusive meetup caps from las vegas plus a right, sticker Matt or Walsh, two calm down plus you know. plus a sticker or two now I got to talk about a, a, a like a mattress or something like that. Yeah, I was gonna say you need to like do it, you need to do it more like you really need to get like the Daily Wire type ones. Be like, you know, I know we have a lot of middle aged balding men in our audience. You ever want to cover that head up, that shiny head with the hat? Check out our F and T hats right here. I wear them, and you can barely tell that I'm going bald. Like, you're like that's what you yeah, got to yeah. do, right? Ben, ben was on a video the other day talking about how terrible the state of the world is and how awful everything is, and he He's goes, like, "Before we get you know, to that, but you know." When I ran, I when Iran attacks Israel with all these missiles coming down, it's tough for me to sleep, but it's easy for me to sleep with my Helix mattress. <laughs> <laughs> here, here's, so the, here's the here's the here's the lemonade I had. You want to focus on me? It's giant anime tits. There we go. There we go. Brand oh. risk. Brand oh. risk. Very nice. Sum it up. Nice. There's some big old titties. Oh, some... I think there was peaches in it. That's why I couldn't have that one. Peaches. That young lady's gonna have Wait, a lot of back problems. Yes, yeah, yeah, she is, but <laughs> that's her problem, not ours. <laughs> oh, and then yes, we got the plushies, real BBC plushies. Links have been in the description. Uh, B we we all wrote our own descriptions, by the way. For uh, Gary's very proud of his. I am super. I thought of that in like two minutes too. I'm like, God, I got like two minutes to write this. I'll do it. We got is that little does that little squid next to you, Mahler, turn inside out and have a frowny face? Oh, no, that'd be cute if it did. He yeah, detaches that's... though, Ryan, so you can do whatever you want to him. No, I'll, I'll make oh. him frown by the end. <laughs> wow. <laughs> ah, whoa. Oh my god. You just mean so to a rebel moon, that's all. Yeah. They'll set himself on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that whole video is out there. It's disturbing. Rebel Moon. Hey, uh, you mean have, Rebel Moon? Have, Gary, have you shown anybody yeah. the thing we're working on for for Nerdrotic? No, you can show it. <laughs> I can show it. So this will be the first time we've shown this. Now, as you know, in Vegas, we had the G and G unit chains, and shout out to the capable gentleman for uh, putting those together. Uh, capable gentleman, he has a YouTube channel. I'm sure we can get a link for that. Um, but uh, he's part of our park op and crew. 
Um, so I obviously everybody loves the geeks and gamers when we're going to continue having those available in some capacity, but he is also for an, a future meetup and these aren't available right now, but we have, uh, of course my Chrome is about to fucking crash again. Dude, Chrome um, is shit. Chrome is I mean, it's terrible, always been so, shit, but it's like yep. really shit now. So mm. I'm going to have to come back here in just a minute because I'm about to freeze up. So do you want me Lord. to show the picture? I think yeah, I know I'll what you're going to show. I, 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 do you oh, have so a picture? Have it. Do you so have, you have, have it? it? All right, go ahead and share it, and I'll be uh, right back. Can you even share it with your Canadian internet? There you there. go. Oh, look at that. That's that awesome. Bling right there. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. 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 That's awesome. Shout out to the capable gentleman. Shout Yee. out. We will have that next meetup, which okay. will be, I don't know. Bling. Which will be, I don't know. We'll uh, figure it out. We're we'll figure it out. We're discussing. We are in discussions. We're, we're discussing. It's so gangster. It. Well, the I one I can say, them. the one I can say for sure is San Antonio. We don't have a lo location yet, but it's during uh, SpaceCon. SpaceCon. In October. It's not for NASA, by the way. It's, yeah, I it's, checked. It's not for NASA. It's for like science fiction. G shit. Gina Carano will be there. Oh, oh, hell yeah. It's kind of a terrible Ooh. name for a con. To be it honest. is. Yeah. I agree. It, I it agree. feels like I'm sending my kids to space camp or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> space con. But. You guys ready for soups? Let's do this. Soups. Yeah. Soups. Yeah. Not it's only been two hours and 50 minutes. Uh, has it been 50? Shit. I went a little over there. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> wow. Rebel wow. Mina. <laughs> uh, I would watch that. It's a dumb, it's such yeah, a dumb yeah. meme. <laughs> like, protect each other and show your ass or something. Yeah. Rebel Moon. Why not? Uh, not Another Dime has gifted 20 neurotic memberships for $100. Hail. Hail. Paul Belfier for 50. Uh, from Australia's dry, dusty plain, it's swords and AI, he'll explain. But I'm sorry, Sir Shad, Vegemite is just bad. And one day, the emus will reign. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ryan, I've, this is a bad meme. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's perfect. No. <laughs> Core member. Core Aww. member, you are you. fucking retarded. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is happening down here, man? It's so disturbing. Those so nipples weird. do look a little it's, weird, though. Yeah. What the fuck? Like Ricky. Jesus. I like my haircut, though. I might I change it. I don't that. think that's a nice <laughs> rack. <laughs> yeah, nice nipple. Press X there. to doubt on that. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, Wall do eight six five for five hundred dollars. Damn! Dude, fuck! That's insane. That is insane. Uh, just throwing this out there. FNT blend of Geek Grind is the bomb. I agree. Uh, drinking some right now. Did it influence Moist. you? To, to, did it make you like accidentally uh -huh. hit five instead of one? Or I, I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, while catching up with you guys, uh, first free fry fry night in a while. Uh, all hail FNT and long live the real fandom. Thank you for being here. Thank you, you crazy mofo. Thank you. God dang. I'm gonna. I gotta scroll up again. I got to read this in Tardo voice, according yeah. to X-Ray Girl. <laughs> I have to. Okay. Okay. Uh, Eric. Eric Sheedlow for 50. <laughs> Hi, Jerry. Son of Tardo. Political for Turkey Day 2024. But Binden, scare son of Tardo. He liked me on sleepy time meds. Kamala Khan, also no good. Uh, she be son of Tardo in third grade. Orange Prez, uh, make son of Tardo laugh. Good enough for me. Lock it in. Yay. <laughs> you know what? That's what I felt like saying after watching Rebel Moon. <laughs> Lock it in. Yay. <laughs> Lock it in. Boo. Boo. Uh, it would be great if they could do the whole thing in Tardo voice. <laughs> it would make <laughs> the Tardo cut. Well, maybe, maybe. Marg uh, Mahler would argue. I said, almost, I, how did I almost mix Mahler's Margo. name? Ma Margo. Margo. He would mark you. <laughs> I do mog you a lot. <laughs> <laughs> how does this happen? Garrett is just so competitive uh, after de destroying Dan Vask and ending his career. And now he's like, 
fuck that. Chris Gore is not going to be the only guy that gets strokes around. Here. I know, right? <laughs> He's so competitive. Not to be right? up by anyone. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Don't you want to win? <laughs> Uh, where was I going with that? Oh, uh, Mahler would argue uh, that everyone was retarded in Fallout, so just use mm-hmm. retardo voice. <laughs> Wasn't even fucking worth saying at that point. Uh, Jay gifted 20 neurotic memberships <laughs> for $100. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the new Army. That is great. That is really Thank you, good. JT. That is really good. It's perfection. That's, good. that's pretty amazing right there. Wow. <laughs> Uh, legalized adulthood. It was great seeing you. Yeah, has gifted forty man. nerdrotic memberships for two hundred dollars. Wow! Nice. And you get to watch the watch parties, which are uh, uh, so fucking low effort. I just put up a timer. <laughs> I, I, you know, like you know, no lights. Some, yeah, it's dark. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't even turn on my lights in my room. I just put up a timer. A little, little mood, but you know how some people, well, like Mahler and uh, and uh, Drinker, do this for their Star Trek. Stuff they put in like in a TV, like a version that yeah. won't get copyright hit. I don't even bother with that. It's like watch it along we with. We can me set or that not. up. We can, we probably uh, should. You know, we probably some, should. We can make that happen. Super easy to put a copy of the film in and put a filter over it, and you're done. It's just obviously you can't make out anything really, but it's good for people to be like, oh, that's where they are. I recognize those colors. I know that part. Yeah. I usually do just subtitles, dude. I talked. Oh, well, yeah. I I use those too because I. I for one, I was talking over everything because I just didn't give a shit what anybody what? fucking said. And then it devolved at the end. I was doing play by play. So during the battle, I'm all two rock. The hippogriff uh, rider is now in slow motion. He has met with Titus. They slow motion. Look at each other. Now we're in <laughs> super like the- slow motion. Back to regular slow motion. <laughs> Gary, I love that he's from Hippogriff land. Like his his <laughs> culture is just his hippogriffs everywhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you like that? And then mom committed suicide. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what the fuck that was about. Wow. Oh, London planet is where he's from. And he just watched her do it. Yeah. Wow. Nice. I, and he's yeah, like, I was going to say, from me. I was going to say, is there some messaging there that I absolutely agree with? And so does <laughs> so does Sargon. <laughs> so, uh, ooh. Epicillion? Epicillion. Epicillion. For 50 British pounds. Proper money for now. Uh, as how did you like seeing the prime minister in the Clarkson Farm season three trailer? Did you watch it? Didn't see it. No. Oh, you didn't see it. Oh, you gotta go watch the Clarkson Farm. Did, did season Clarkson three trailer. call him a fucking fanny? No, no. Uh, Ca- Caleb said he liked his hair. That was it. The trailer is suitably hyped though. The, it's when he when he says we're going to compete to make the most money. I was like, I just I gotta watch this. Oh <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> when he when he's like, you're going to drown the only people who like you. I know. <laughs> Uh, so good. And then pigs is probably the worst fucking idea he could possibly have, uh, which would be great. So uh, just pre-ordered all four of your plushies. They look incredible. Can't wait to get them for my collection. Let's have a great show. Well, hopefully you thought it was a great show. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Kratos sell Kratos on the Streamlab side for $50 says, I love it when you call me Big 50. Hello, Big 50. Hey, Big 50. Uh, throw your hands in the air <laughs> if you use a true play. If you is a true player, I can't fucking even do that. I'm oh, not John Campbell. Yeah. <laughs> please don't do that. Don't. Why so did please do? Why did everybody blank out right there? You good. just can't. You, you just sounding like John Campion now. <laughs> <laughs> right, trying to upstage Campion too, huh? <laughs> yeah, those are some hood. No, I'm not going to do it. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Are you talking about those girls that showed up late in Rebel Moon? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're in the wrong time zone. They're on NST. You That's right. Also for showing up late. Hey, we did get passes at the uh, at the meetup. Mm-hmm. We can use them. They're official. I was told. Mm-hmm. Uh, it says, okay, Vegas was fun. We should do it again sometime. Yeah, maybe we should do it for a week, right, Jeremy? Yeah, well, yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. I'll, I'll spend. I'll spend. I'll spend two days driving. Two more days driving home, so I'll be there for two or three days. There so we can do it. <laughs> Shout out to Ryan for hanging out with all of us schlubs for the whole week and making karaoke epic. Hail to Ryan. Uh, yeah, Ryan. And, uh, me. Uh, Ryan uh, has been dead for the last few days. He even couldn't like. Even the other day, I was like, dude, just don't do daily. Just uh, I was just like, sleep. 
Where's my just... late night Ryan video? What the fuck's wrong with him? <laughs> I was sleeping. I yeah. The other night, I uh, I I fucking just needed to take a nap after putting out a couple of videos. So I slept from five to nine. Woke up, ate, got tired as fuck again. Slept from one to noon. <laughs> uh, so like a, I, I slept a long fucking time in a short amount of time. It felt like anyway. So I, but I'm caught up now. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Yeah. I think I'm, I'm rec I recovered kind of yesterday. So, uh, Ministry of Wrong Thing for forty nine ninety nine. I don't get it. Why is Alita Battle an Battle Battle Angel Battle, battle. battle. Alita Battle Angel from Alabama? Get <laughs> <Alabama. laughs> yeah, that Battle Angel. That Battle Man. Angel in a Fallout battle show. Angel, boys. Uh, Why is that Alita Battle Angel <laughs> dating your cousin? <laughs> Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because Ryan pulled something off today that not even me or Gary or Tardo has pulled off. He fucked up somebody's name so bad he forced them to change their fucking name. Okay? Yeah, true. It was Alan Fox, and Ryan said Alien Fox. And so then he changed his name to Alien Fox. I, I shamed him into changing his actual fucking name. That's actually a better name. So. It is a better well, name. Did he, it's way, did he, it is way better, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. There, there is an excuse that... My there was like a smudge, like a le legit smudge on my fucking screen. It made it look like the second L was kind of like cut off into an yeah. eye. So I didn't even know. They're like, "That's Alan." Like, what are you talking about? It looks like Alien, right? Yeah. <laughs> in other words, Ryan was jerking uh, off uh, yeah. right on his computer. <laughs> I would I would never jerk what, off sitting what here was on your computer? My computer. That's I, a DSP thing. I literally just yeah. got fucking done. Shoveling, Jerking my off. Face of, <laughs> shoveling my face full of like chicken and rice. It could be literally anything. Pizza grease, fucking Mountain Dew. Like, it, it, my fucking yeah, you surprised? It could be a wide variety of things. It ain't come. Uh, I've already got a system for doing that. I don't do it in front of the computer. Yeah, he has a whole room set up. For that. I have yes, a whole yeah. incognito tab on my phone in a bathroom, okay? Oh, your like, phone. Your yeah, phone. Over the camera. The only I'm thing not, worse I'm, than your computer is your phone. Oh, <laughs> what are you talking no, about? No, 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 no. It's phone. It's phone. It's always phone. Yeah. Yeah. You never do that on your you're, computer. You're, too, you're so fucking old. You need a big ass <laughs> screen. I get it, Gary. I don't need that. I can see perfectly. I pulled that fun. up on my Roku, man. Yeah, What's all these? On your Roku. <laughs> <laughs> I need that. Big I got screen, my whole theater, you know? motherfucker. <laughs> I, got, I need that bass pumping in the back, you know? dude. <laughs> subwoofer. 125 yeah. inch screen. Over. Now this we're talking. It's going to be everywhere I sit. <laughs> Are those happy tissues or sad tissues? <laughs> Both. Uh, now I'm a little nervous because <laughs> Gary has accidentally gone live multiple times. I'm very fucking scared. <laughs> you see. Uh, you don't have anything to worry about. <laughs> you you, yeah, you no, might no, see me going. Gone. That's a rule I have. I do not touch my dick anywhere within this camera radius. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a, that is a hard and fast rule. Smart right? thing, Ryan. Smart yeah. thing. Uh, back to the super chat. Ministry of wrong thing for forty nine ninety nine. I don't get it. Why is Alita Battle Angel in a Fallout show? Uh, she can even see why kids love the taste of cinnamon toast crunch. Her perception stat must be uh, set at ten. Hail FNT. Hail to you. Hail. She dude, does have dude. big eyes. Yes. Look what just big happened simply because Gary mispronounced something. It took us all through the fucking discussion. Yeah, it was a journey. We, are, we are retarded. We yes. really are. Problematic panda for 50. <laughs> Where the hell is FNT's gaze of hip hop segment? You know what? <laughs> you guys request it. We got to do it. We listen. We listen to the audience. So we uh, next to. week we'll have the gaze and hip hop segment. We'll find yep. something. Uh, yep. By the way. Any news on Diddy at all? Like, did no. he get busted or no? Lawyer, um, stay on the radar. Like, I where's the like the Santa the GPS? But it's Diddy. Um, <laughs> well, so Patrick Bet David did an interview with Suge Knight from Suge prison Knight today. from prison. <laughs> yeah, we should have talked about that. <laughs> it, it, I listened to a little bit of it. It really like Suge was not saying a whole lot. He, he was he was kind of regurgitating a lot of stuff he's already talked about, and he's clear that there were certain things he wasn't going to say. I haven't heard all of it yet. It was a little awkward. I think he had to do it in like 15-minute increments uh, with how the call went, and it was kind of sloppy how it was edited. Not on their part. They just – they had – certain things were like – Dude, hard they have him in them, solitary. So. He said he's in a yeah. cell by himself. Yeah, so it's wild, So he man. must have done something when he was in there too. Yeah, uh, yeah. 
But yeah, I listened to a part of it at the gym, and it just sounded like I need an excuse to talk to a human right now. <laughs> that's, yeah. what it, that's what yeah. it sounded like. Yeah, yeah. Why? Well, but yeah, I don't know where Diddy's at. He's just completely gone. Gone. So yeah. And now, when, is it, there actually she, even like an arrest warrant out for him or anything? I don't even no, know if there no, is. I don't, I don't think, think there so. is. No grand jury. Nothing. It, it feels like this whole thing is going to be swept under the rug, well, dude. Yeah. What were the first? What were the very first conspiracy theories? The feds are there to destroy the evidence. Yes, yes, yes. And now look, all of this is happening. Mm -hmm. And yet you got the former president in fucking court when a guy set himself on fire. <laughs> What the fuck is going on, dude? What a fucking and Joe Biden though. making up a story oh, about sure his uncle and cannibals. I'm yeah. sure it's just a coincidence that guy set himself on fire right on the day that this random dumb piece of news came out. Coincidence? <laughs> That's Ryan being sarcastic. By <laughs> what? Yeah. Did you hear the J Joe Biden telling the story about kids flipping him off all through America? Did you no? see this shit? <laughs> I've been going coast to coast with fuck didn't... Joe Biden signs and yeah. little kids giving me the finger. Not the finger I like little kids to give me. Whoa. Just Whoa. No. No. His, his gaffes have been unbelievable. What was the thing he did Dude. in 1950? Wait, no, didn't one of his relatives get it was eaten in, by cannibals? My, my uncle crashed a, a plane Got down and, and uh, uh, there was cannibals around and uh, they haven't found his body yet and... And that's yeah, like actually, yeah, there's an allegation his uncle got eaten by cannibals. Cannibals. <laughs> and like, and the, they get they get asked at the White House fucking press room, and they just are like, no, that's that didn't happen. What are you guys talking about? Why are you even talking no, about No, and it's somebody because else's the story. The president of the United it's, States. It's, isn't it a, a comics division? You're the conspiracy theorist. Isn't Rockwell. it a Rockefeller? Rockefeller. Rockefeller. One of the Rockefeller, Rockefeller kids. Uh, was suspected of getting eaten by cannibals. So it's his, his story. story. I don't think I've heard that one. Or, you haven't yeah. heard that? I don't oh, even yeah. think no, he's I intentionally haven't. lying. I think his brain's just yeah. blending no, the story. I, no, that's just dementia. That is dementia. Uh, still yeah. bag, bag but, of rocks uh, up there. I, I put the link to the one where he says he's getting flipped off uh, by kids. <laughs> okay, <so. laughs> kids are flipping Those are kids. Off. Those are adults, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good, dude. I'm like, what the hell is going on, man? Garrett, it's can you grab that one? Got it. Uh, I never thought I'd see a time when I'm going through a, a, a neighborhood or a, a rural town in, in the West or center to see big signs that have a Trump sign in the middle that says F. Biden and having a little kid standing with his middle finger, seven years old, eight years old. Oh, I promise it happens all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Don't admit when that. I, when I saw it, I was like, is there a community note on this? Like, Fox News has got Biden. Yeah. Little kid gave me the middle finger. <laughs> like, this can't be real. I still, I'm still questioning, is this real? But it, of course it's dude, fucking real. Yeah. Oh, dude, man, I mean, just like dude. Little, little video footage of him going through his hometown and everyone shouting, fuck Joe Biden, <laughs> flipping him off. It, that, that's how popular dude, this president is. He sounds really bad. Like, like really, really, really dude, bad. Dude, rem remember Reagan in uh, Dark Knight Returns? For those of you who read the comic book, like yes, this, that's yes, where he's getting to yes, end. All of a sudden he'll start yeah. speaking a lot clearer and be in a wheelchair. But like, yeah, it's, uh, dude. Yeah, Dude, it does not sound good. Not no. good. Not good. Oh, oh but man. he's he's fit to be president, folks. Yeah. Jeez. Just, uh, just watch. Just watch 20, interviews with him. Twenty twenty four, man. Hayden's seventy five for fifty. What's up, Hayden? Working hey, man. man. Uh, it's bullshit. What Games Workshop? Hey, you know, I just want to point out that he put BS and GW, and I knew what they were. Okay, hey. it's bullshit. Hey. I'm hey progress, not perfection. Uh, or less degradation. Not really sure. Okay. Uh, it's bullshit what Games Workshop is doing to Warhammer 40K, but it all ties to the bridge stuff, uh, which uh, is like a sweet baby ink thing. Uh, well, normalize yeah. the DEI. Yeah, it's a little, it's, it's a, it's a lot deeper than sweet baby ink. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but we, yeah. yeah. We're going to have, uh, I have talked to Kirsha. Uh, so we're gonna have Kirsha on Geeks and Gamers probably sometime, maybe next week if she's available. But uh, that's a VTuber who's kind of been talking about a lot of that stuff. Not and, Adobe yeah. Bridge, not Adobe no. Bridge. No. <laughs> uh, they better not make my interdimensional kinky BDSM space uh, elves into frumpy, a draw androgynous space elves. Well, they will. Yeah, Hayden, they will. Get that 3D printer, buddy. Yep. <laughs> Uh, Sandy Q for 50. Yeah. 
We have a quote here. How vain it is to sit down right when you have not stood up to uh, sit down to write when you have not stood up to live. Mm-hmm. Henry David Thoreau, 150 years ago, still speaks to the dearth of creative talent. I uh, that's wonderful. I might use that quote in my video. Uh, oh, I missed a bunch. What, the, what it's was okay. I, what no was way, I doing? You, Gary. What was I you? doing? No uh, Lady Gravemaster is not supposed to be donating anything. Is gifted ten neurotic memberships. That's Jeremy Anomics. Super chatting yourself and losing thirty <laughs> percent. <laughs> Somebody had to. Jay was taking all the super chat money. Okay. He he needed it more than you. Because you streamed <laughs> over him like a bastard. The see? Look at that's a guy who needed the super chat more than Hi, you. Jay. So I gave him fifty dollars and I gifted him twenty uh Jay memberships. Congratulations, Jay. May all the money. Jay memberships more like <laughs> <laughs> Congrats, Jay. Congrats, Jay. Uh, Shake from Hunger. hunger uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Shake from Shoot Hunger Super Team. Chats every single week. <laughs> I know. Gifted 10 neurotic memberships for $50. Thank you. Thank you. I'll make it, folks. Al Malone for 50 If you want to see how an actual NCR versus Brotherhood battle would go down, watch Project Sunburst Whip 11. Uh, it's only a minute long, and you can watch on stream if you want. I'll watch it afterwards. My kid sent me a bunch of lore videos, and they're cool as hell. He's like, no, that's stupid, Dad. You need to watch this. And, uh, yeah, he didn't even bother, and he's a huge Fallout fan. So, Ian, so forth for 50 British pounds, proper money. I thought episodes three through seven were decent. Fight me. Okay, name a place. Uh, preferably with uh, those really inaccurate Brotherhood of Steel guns. <laughs> yeah, dude, what the heck? <laughs> Were they inaccurate? I, I would. Well, I, mean, I like how they hold them the out like gun? this, sideways. They can't use them physically inside oh, of the suit. They don't about... want you to be looking at where their fingers and the triggers are. They, oh, they no, touch no, it no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. But the turret that came out at the Institute and just completely missed Michael uh, Emerson. It's like, yeah, how? About it. How? how? Uh, it's, it, he ran. He ran. It was it was only a Gatlin gun. <laughs> they're not a Gatlin gun. As, I don't know if you're as, They're aware. not going to hit every single shot. No. God. His it last name is Nolan. Shot. As okay. <laughs> okay. He makes good stuff. <laughs> Missed it okay. all. Wow. That's he really did. Great. He did. That's it was called gross. Person of Interest, and it's over. Yeah. Good show. Uh, half shaved bridge kitten. In two parts for forty dollars. Should rebels should rebels moon the gov? It should rebel moves the gov. It would be free expression. Yet the growth of the uh, kleptocratic kleptocratic <laughs> mob uh, truly should man. That is big words. I don't know. <laughs> do you want me to read kleptocratic ma- mob mob. Uh, truly oh shows gosh. their transforming needs to prove their uh, aristocracy. <laughs> Arist- what? Aristocracy? Is that it's aristocracy? Amazing. How do yeah. you get aristocracy? Is that really it? Okay, I know how to say it. I don't know how to read it. Uh, but as they <laughs> said, <laughs> dude, don't come hey. in here with your fucking brainy I words. <laughs> 100%. I would have fucked that up. Should, Re- oh, okay. should Rebels, okay? Should Rebels Moon the Gov? It would be free expression. Yet the uh, growth of the klep- kleptocratic mob <laughs> truly shows their transforming needs to prove their aristocracy. <laughs> but a- as their self-brainwashed insanity goes, they hide less. The fallout of how bad American Civil War would be in a world disaster. Yet the idea of being raped. <laughs> Uh, was the least shaved under the bridge, giving us action without story. The, they portrayed the mass murdering communists as a goal. Did you get all that? I have no fucking I idea what you just said. Confused. <laughs> you got every word. I got to watch Rebel Moon and I'm... listen to that shit again. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. But um, maybe that's some sort of code or really? something. Thank you. <laughs> Was that the manifesto of the guy who burned himself to death? <laughs> oh, no. 
That was amazing, dude. Was amazing. <laughs> I don't. I'm sorry. I I read it word for word. I did. It's amazing. <laughs> I, I forgot that, what that process can... was, but David Bowie wrote an album where he like wrote songs <laughs> and then he cut the the songs in half, literally, and put them together, and then. Uh, there's a term for it. I can't remember the term. That's like how, what I felt like I was reading. Okay. Uh, a knock them on $54 in five parts for $54. We got through it. We got through it. We got through it, man. Part one, just finished Star Trek, the original series and the motion picture. Hell yeah. I have to, you're watching it in order. That's good. Uh, I have I have to see uh, five. Not looking forward to it because I hear it sucks. Five's got its charms. I'll back Star Trek five all day long. Uh, they're in Yosemite. They're singing camp uh, fire songs. It's all right. Uh, but I'm a completionist. Then we'll uh, then I've seen everything with the OG cast. Next TNG and beyond. I'm looking forward to seeing it. You're on a good journey right there. Yeah, you're on a damn good journey. Have fun. Yeah, don't. And then get to Enterprise and stop. No, they got a record. They want to watch Generations. That's everyone's favorite, right? Fuck Generations. You can skip that <laughs> one completely. Uh, you, you skip the cat all one. movies. Skip them all. The cat one. You know what? You can skip all the TNG movies and just watch Picard season three. That's that's what I would do. Yeah, the movies aren't great. I, first Contact, well, well, fine. Just I like First Contact. All good things. <laughs> you, uh, the, one of the greatest finales, uh, top five finales of all time, of any show. Why is it as will interrupt any other time until he has to fucking leave? Just fucking interrupt now and tell him Just you gotta go. leave. Go. Bye, Az. <laughs> Love you, boo. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Feels bad, man. Yeah, I, I, I know. It's like I'm I'm making him say something, Jeremy. I can see his facial expressions. I'm like, I'm like, no, I, I'm gonna you gonna say something. Because you have no fucking problem saying shit. <laughs> for, like, especially right before Ryan's going to land a punchline or I'm going to land a punchline or Jeremy's going to make his point or anything. I love that, dude. You know how many great jokes have been so missed? <laughs> no homo. No homo. No homo. Uh, oh, did you see the 1 800 Danky? Which one? Make a new one? The, one. the new one. one. The new one that came out today. Uh, no, uh, they were told us one. we meant to watch that on uh, daily, and uh, we just get around to it. Find so it yeah, real quick. It's very find, short. Find it. find it. It's very short. Oh, is it I'll the Chrissy it. one? Yeah, it's the Chrissy one. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let yeah, me I finish reading this first. We're into part two. Before I get to that, I want to talk about the OG episode, Turnabout Intruder. I understand it has a negative reputation, but I found it oddly prophetic. It's about a woman who switches bodies with Kirk because she hates men but wants her power. Uh, yes, uh, this dame legit believes femininity is a weakness. When she uh, becomes a man, she is overly aggressive to the point of constantly getting into confrontations. Anything other than complete affirmation is deemed as a personal attack. One might say is toxic. A woman acting like an overly aggressive man because she believes that's the only way to have power. I mean, part of it is... William Shatner's acting in it, which is, I mean, it's hard not to laugh, but, uh, you know, I like the episode. Uh, does that sound familiar? When Lady Kirk gives a speech demanding total submission, I expected her to say, there is a tempest inside me, prop <laughs> Star Trek. Um, you predict uh, third wave feminism before it was a thing. Uh, Star Trek did that a lot. Back in the day. Uh, you want to know why? Because the writers of that show were science fiction writers who had lived a life. Some of them been to war, seen a lot of shit. Uh, Shatner's OTP uh, made me think of Guy Ladriel curling her upper lip, Captain Manville breaking the Don's arm, all the pregnant bitches getting in a fight, uh, etc. Why didn't we listen? Sheer fucking hubris. Well played, sir. Well played. Um, <clears throat> Quelmdar, did you pull it up yet? Garrett. I've got two, actually, two different animations we got to right, watch. Animation done. Vault and Danky. We're almost done. Yeah. Uh, Quelmdar in four parts for $350. <laughs> Woo! Oh, shit. Here we go. 
So Moldavia, or whatever her name, had 200 years to recreate fusion that she already accomplished in a single lifetime. Yes. And remember, she Amaler, correct me if I'm wrong. She couldn't get to it because she didn't have the patent or the technology. I she mean, she created it. it. She said it was really difficult to monetize, and the implication is that capitalism isn't interested in infinite energy because that means there's less to sell. You know, like if if we if someone because they bought her out and stopped her basically, she was so about she's... to crack a renewable energy that was clean, and they were like, no, 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 no. <laughs> and it's like, That's... wouldn't they, if they were capitalists, just take the product, create it, and then sell it? They would find a way to sell it and limit it uh, in some way. and limit it. I mean, because electricity like diamonds. Yeah. They do I them. mean, the argument is like we have to build the infrastructure to get it to you. We need to pay for that. Uh, but I mean, that's what they did. The Tesla supposedly. Yeah. She cracks it. And then 200 years later, she's still trying to get it to work. But the way the vault tech took a proprietary control of it means that you have to get a vault tech executives code to activate any cold fusion in the world of fallout, I guess. <clears throat> so she was able to build the infrastructure but not recreate the cold fusion itself <laughs> she, no okay. yeah no she had to because 200 years like I don't well, she know, didn't like live you, for 200 years right i mean she no, like yeah, she, she, she was frozen well, she so was our in stasis people but. have highlighted that as a plot hole i'm just like i guess they'll tell us in season two but the thing is she's dead now so i don't even know if they'll bother telling us that i, yep. I have no idea i don't know either um people like was she cry generally frozen it's like, I, I, I guess <laughs> Uh, and she didn't, but was uh, able to create a whole power infrastructure based on a design that she didn't have specs to. Uh, that worked perfectly the first time. And how did she live that long anyway? Did I miss something? So many other flaws, but that seemed yeah. huge. Oh, there's uh, countless huge problems with this show. That's the thing. But I think I think everyone was having fun with it. It's a fun wasteland thing with cowboys doing shooting each other and stuff. And it's just like, there you go. It's like, yeah, but really think about everything they told you happened. Because it's hard to see it when you're watching it for the first time as well. You don't know where everything's going. Like, Gary, you, we were talking about the first episode on Real BBC. Uh, countless people were like, no, it makes way more sense once you've seen the whole show. We're like, oh, yeah, fair enough. Like, you know, that can happen. It's possible. Context and stuff. And then you saw it, and you're like, this is dumb. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> made it so and you much worse. It. Well, that's, so much worse. I wasn't even going to, like, I, I didn't play the game. I was like, eh. So many people were talking about it, and then you, you guys started like powering through. I'm like, I'll power through. And I was supposed to watch it with my son, who said, No, hell no, I'm not watching this. But He's got a female protagonist. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got to bounce. Been listening to Jeremy. Yeah. yeah, fuck you, Ryan. I learned from you, you asshole. Anyway, um, I always go viral in these fucking <laughs> I know it. clips I know of it. you being like an asshole about diversity or some shit. <laughs> and I'm just sitting there right next to you, smiling like an idiot. And we, <laughs> we fucking go viral. That yep. Works. So, uh, real quick, before I leave, I want to tell everyone I mentioned it on. Uh, I hope I can share my fucking screen without my Chrome crashing again. We'll see. Um, but uh, I want to tell everybody about Criticless. Um, if you want an alternative to Rotten Tomatoes, Criticless is the place to go. Now, there's not a lot of people over there. Yeah, there um, when I say not a lot, we're not talking about like, tens of thousands of people. So it's fairly like ground level stuff. This is a place where you can go get movie reviews and review movies yourself. And there is an like an aggregate score over there. So like something like Shogun has um, an 86% right now with uh, 10 votes in. So it really had, they really do have a really good system. Me and Ryan met with uh, Blaine. I know a bunch of you guys met him in Vegas. Yeah, and he was cool. uh, me cool and dude. Ryan gave him some, some feedback on some things we think, you know, could improve it over there, but they've got a really good community over there and they put a lot of time and effort into this site. So you can download the app on Android or uh, Apple. And I, I feel like I sound like I'm getting paid by them. I'm not getting paid by them at all. I actually just legitimately love the site. And I met him in Orlando several months ago and I never fucking looked at it until one day Odin shared his movie review from there. And I looked at the site and I was like, this is fucking really good. Um, and, you know, like you even have this one right here. Um, the Last Jedi has a whopping 16% over there. Uh, so, wow. uh, yeah. And so there's a lot of cool stuff over there. You'll have to go check it out yourself. But I think it's a great fucking site. Uh, and the app works really good. And I really like Blaine and his team, and I'm going to try to do my best to promote it and tell more people about it because I really think it's good. And for the longest, we talked about having a potential Rotten Tomatoes alternative that's not hijacked by leftist bullshit. And uh, I think this could be uh, a place that's going to take off the more people we can get on, on it. So anyway, 
Cobracast tonight. Fuck you, Ryan. You guys have a good one. And uh, Gary, don't die yet. Uh, well, I mean, wait for a tough month for me on views because uh, the grifting of your death will be phenomenal. <laughs> so, okay, I'm doing really good right now. So, wait for a bad month for me if you don't mind. So, sure, do you mind? No, okay. I don't love care. the idea that one month it goes bad and Gary just gets a call. It's like it's time, bud. <laughs> it's time, bud. <laughs> it's time. What the Lock hell is this? What is this? In. This is this is a clip that's going viral right here. Jeremy's Fallout trailer reaction. Oh yeah, yeah. Holy fuck of the diversity. Why did you join the Brotherhood. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> diversity. People are going to come after you. I don't say a damn thing in this, by the way. <laughs> Just wasteland. You diversity. See, you see diversity. <laughs> <laughs> Yet another racist Ryan clip. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Look, there's all these replies like, these guys just hate every black person on the screen. It's like, I didn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> we just assume it. You know? We know. <laughs> that yeah. look on your face says it all. <laughs> He's co-signing it. Somebody needs to take that clip and put that little line from Ryan in his car about Batman. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you point <laughs> off for me. <laughs> you know? So anyway, hail Friday Night Tights. I'll see you guys later. Bye, later. everybody. Later. Yep. Later. Bye. Later. later. All right. Uh, back to Quelmdar, part three right. of three. Wait. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Quelmdar. Wait, let's finish Quondar real quick. I'll just give you a tease. Fartgate. Fart there you go. Also, uh, Saw Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. It was decent, but I was expecting more of an outrageous action comedy from the previews. So was I. So was yeah. I. And it's Guy yep. Ritchie. Uh, and, and again, the gentleman is far more Guy Ritchie than he has been in a long time. Uh, Quondar again. Oh, and I almost forgot. Hail FNT. Hail of Fellowship. Hail to you! All right, let's uh, pull up. Uh, I'm, just, I'm just looking at these comments. Where it's what, like, what, what, say, read the, some the of comments them. on that clip I just did. I can tell he says the N word all the time just by how he's dressed. Completely normal to yell diversity when seeing black people. Yeah, totally not racially motivated <laughs> whatsoever. <laughs> Oh God! God, I was watching. I'm like, that might get clipped because because that's all. <laughs> and it did. That's funny. Uh, Ara, Ara for forty nine ninety nine. Ara, I can pronounce Ara. Praise Ara. I can pronounce a name oh that God. sounds like I'm having a stroke. <laughs> uh, Hail F and T and greetings from Poway, California. Ah, oh, oh. land of Blink One Eighty Two and Tony Gwynn used to live there. Uh, Gary, what are your thoughts on the Padres this season? Uh, it's early. It's early. The bats woke up a little bit. I, I kind of checked out the last couple of days because I've been in Vegas. But uh, I, I love very my Padres. Early. It's very early. They it's talk a baseball before June is early. Yeah, it's very, very early. Uh, but um, Everyone looks horrific in this animation, by the way. They do. They do. <laughs> Go for uh, it. Also, for the panel... Who oh, would uh, win in a fight? Uh, John Matrix from Commando or Harry Tasker from True Lies? Ooh, uh, Matrix. I'm going Ma Matrix. I'm going to go John Matrix. A little bit more crazy. Probably, yeah. 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 All right, let's watch this. Eric Guidewall for ten dollars. Did Disney make this video? It looks like Star Wars <laughs> Galactic Star. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> My. That wasn't me. Dude, y'all are fucking retarded, man. <laughs> Mike. Mike. I'm going to stop coming on this motherfucking show. If we have another one of these goddamn things, we're going to blame me for fucking farting. Listen, that's straight up a soundboard. Clearly, yeah. Like, listen, even Rip was defending me. Fuck, man. <laughs> Mike just fucking farted. <laughs> And then Beardo over here can't read a super chat and try to throw me under the fucking bus. Oh, man. <laughs> Look at Jay. <laughs> a chance, so. uh, um, hey, thank you guys for having me. I'm going to leave now. Take it easy. That <laughs> 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 <was> stupid. <laughs> 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 what the fuck, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Stupid, man.
man. <laughs> Uh, tab, dude. <laughs> These characters are so ugly. <laughs> dude, yeah, man. yeah, they just <laughs> fuck, bro. <laughs> I, I like Jay's. I like Jay's eyes, eyes wandering. Coming back on this Jay's show, eyes dude. wandering is great. Like, oh Amazing. my god, God, everybody looks so horrific in Thanks, those. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Blackguard Four has gifted ten neurotic memberships for fifty. <laughs> Thank you. Justin Martin's for 50. I'll keep this super easy for you, Gary. Thank you. Hail FNT. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you almost had it there. Almost had it. <laughs> Thank you. Blackguard 4 has gifted 20 neurotic memberships for $100. Damn. Oh, my God. You. Did you get the other one? Yes, I do. Animation Vault. And then there's another 1-800 Danky with Chrissy. All we hear is they're remaking this. They're doing that. There's a sequel to this. There's a reboot of that. They're remaking Naked Gun. No. Happy, happy. Uh, William. Neeson. Why? You, right. I'll tell you why it's never going to be good. You cannot hold a torch to the fucking absolute timing and comic genius of Leslie Nielsen. Yeah. Never going to fucking happen. And the reason why <laughs> stuff like The Naked Gun was funny and, and Airplane was the funny. first couple scary was, movies were, were well, good. Yeah, yeah. Them. Because the people, when you <laughs> love the genre that you're spoofing, it shines. <laughs> But nobody can do absurdist humor like Zucker Abraham Zucker. <laughs> Many attempted to copy them. Everyone fucking failed miserably. And that's what we're going to get with this. We're going to get some silly oh enemies. <laughs> Current day can't be offensive to this group. Can't be offensive to that group. Can't be sexist. Can't be misogynist. Can't be this. Can't be that. So you're going to get the blandest fucking flattest. <laughs> Flatter than a fucking Kotaku's fucking zipper tits <laughs> fucking comedy that ever has been fucking put on a screen, and it's gonna be shite. Ah, uh, it's Paz, awesome. Yeah. Amazing Paz. We met him in Vegas. Yes, we did. Dom. Mm -hmm. Hail Dom. One more. Let me find that one real quick. The Chrissy one. I didn't see that one. He knows. He just didn't pull it. Uh, yeah. in the meantime. I'm gonna promo something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got F and T jackets. Yeah, oh, yeah. limited run. Yeah. They're 150, and this is a varsity jacket. We we can get a custom name on there. So if you want to wear one to D and D, to meetups, especially the ones in the cold. If you areas. just want to wear a jacket, shopping. yeah, yeah. By in your house, by yourself, yeah. playing video yeah. games without any pants on, you could just Getting wear the jacket. Yeah. yeah, keep anything. you warm. I've uh, always wanted drinking one. some anime titty lemonade or titty mm. milk or mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> or geek grind. <laughs> or geek grind. Go, and all the way up to six <laughs> on I your know. meta PC <laughs> oh. or jacking it to birth of a nation. Whatever you want to do. <laughs> I would never masturbate in a nice jacket like just that. Just be careful for the uh, stains. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> it's got to be a rule. You don't jerk off with long sleeves in general. No, right? you really don't. I, I don't know. Strange. I've never done it before. At least before. kind of roll. You have to like pull it you up. You need yeah, mobility. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you need full range. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. You don't want any spillage. <laughs> It's an oldie but a goodie. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Best actresses yeah. in the world, but if they've got shit material to work with, you're gonna get well, shit. That's, film. that's the good. bottom line. Uh, Chrissy, <laughs> have you ever heard of the comedian Basha K Ali? No, that sounds like something you yell at before you blow up a plane. Uh, this this channel's never going to survive. This. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Amazing balls. Uh, thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you. You're hilarious. I'm going to call tonight. it a night tonight. Uh, thanks to everyone who left Super Chat donation. 
I got a video to do, and then we'll do a square up on Ooh. Sunday. Sunday, 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 Sunday morning. Sunday morning before Forbidden Frontier, where we have Wandering Wolf. Hell and we're yeah. gonna discuss the four hour Graham Hancock debate that went viral. That went yeah. viral. That was pretty funny. That little academic twat. Oh god. Um, and wearing his like his dad's suit, suit or something? What yeah. was that? He That's looked so like strange. an academic. He, he tried to look like like a weird hat, an oversized suit. Couldn't really turn his head. He was working. Time he refused going. to take the hat off so he could put the headphones on right. So he kept just like, yeah, he's all, uh, yeah. So uh, <laughs> uh, I'm totally not calling you a racist while I'm calling you a racist. Yeah, yeah that was great. It great. was ridiculous. We'll talk about it. Uh, right on. Uh, what do you got coming up, X-ray girl? Oh, um, tomorrow, Saucy Saturdays on Wicked Virtues Channel, 7 p.m. Eastern. Plus, we're going to be hell diving beforehand at 4.30, I believe. And then Sunday, painting in the morning, uh, of course, Forbidden Frontier, and the return of Sunday Fun Day. Yeah. It's about time. Oh, yeah. About time. That's it. That's it. Oh, it's my birthday month, just saying. Oh, my God. Birthday Palooza <laughs> for another girl. <laughs> Another girl has birthday palooza. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, what about you, comics? Uh, well, for me, I'm still getting caught up on a project. So hopefully Monday or Tuesday, I should have a new video coming out. So probably talking about Warhammer stuff because Jesus. Yeah, that's crazy. It, when, entertainment is not safe, sadly. No, nope. no. It's it's getting to a like a really dark and sad place because it's dying, but it. it it's found a new home like it was yeah. dying and it's it was like just completely dying in hollywood now it's like really returned to gaming it's always kind of been there but it's it's mm -hmm. become more prevalent again and you know it's just another battle battlefield another fucking battlefield pretty much <laughs> what's up quarterback garrett what do you got coming up uh tomorrow uh we have on the geeks and gamers tabletop channel we're playing aliens god yeah yeah Jesus. me and ryan Melanie Mac. Not about that. Who else? Yeah. Who else is playing? I don't uh, know. Mark the Savvy, maybe there's a ton, of, I don't ton think, of people playing. I don't think Melanie's playing. Oh, uh, okay. maybe. Well, yeah, we're gonna be playing home. that. Uh, it's gonna be a ton of fun and uh, Forbidden Frontier on Sunday and Sunday Fun Day. We're hell diving again. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Oh yeah, and I do the show. Dave Lando's on it. Uh, it's called Normal World Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I, we just had uh, Robert Robert Downey Jr. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> what wow. a big no. yeah. Kennedy oh, Jr. Whatever his name is. Um, uh, one of the Kennedys on last uh, Thursday. That was kind of out of the blue and out of nowhere. The director of uh, Blank Man. He was really cool to talk to. Um, uh, yeah, we just have fun over there, so come check us out. All right, Ryan. All right. Uh, well, apparently, as reminded by Quarter Black, I have a stream on Saturday. Um, <laughs> yeah. so I need to make sure I have time for that. Um, other than that, I, I'm doing nothing. Brian Cannell, RK Outpost, come find me if you want. That's it. Taking them vids, <gasps> yeah. And Mahler, <gasps> um, the uh, the plushie got funded already. My one, did. uh, um, 102 percent. Look yeah. at Mahler, you're fucking crushing these Dang. bitches. Wow, Look at that. Mm, damn. I mean, getting destroyed right now. Lulu power right now. It's all it's the little results. squid boy. I swear, people just want to play with him. He's a cutie. Look at him smiling. He's just uh, <laughs> he's good. He's good company. That's what I think it is. Peeping Tom. Yeah. I mean, Gary, you just look so haggard. You know. I do. Mm. I do. <laughs> You've seen so much war. You look. You look so white with the. You've seen hair. so much <laughs> diversity. That I've seen. Just you just can't I handle just, it anymore. Yeah. Well, it's early. Like the baseball season, it's early. We'll see what's going on. Um, 100% yeah. yeah, funded. Tomorrow, EFAP episode going over Rebel Moon Part 2, the Scar Giver, in just a little bit more detail than we did today, to be honest with you. Not that much more. <laughs> we kind of fucking went through a lot of it. Because it's, uh, it's a funny movie. I wish it, it were funnier, though. Yeah, unintentionally pretty funny. And I'll be there with you. I'll be there with you. And between uh, now and that show, I'll record a video on it. Mm -hmm. Somehow. Ah, we'll make awesome. it. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Uh, then we have uh, Forbidden Frontier, like I said, with Wandering Wolf. And uh, who do we have next week? X-Ray Girl. To be determined. To be determined. I was talking to Metzger today. We're trying to get Metzger back on. Oh, hell yeah. Nice. Yep. Got to get Metzger back on. He actually, if, if, if it wasn't the last minute, he was ready today. Because I guess Jimmy 
uh, hit the road, but we'll we'll get to it soon. We love Kurt Metzger. Yes. Uh, thanks, everyone, for watching. Thanks to the Mod Rodics. Thanks to everyone who left a Super Chat donation. You help keep the lights on. We appreciate you. Thanks to the members, especially the ones who had to put up with me watching Rebel Moon today. Uh, <laughs> can't wait till we do another watch party. Uh, until next time. See Bye. you later. Bye. Bye. Gary, some serious gourmet sh What flavor is this? That's right, it's the all hell medium roast private blend. Check out the Geek Grind Coffee Nerdrotic page for our other options like the decadent Feathers of Liberty vanilla infused flavored coffee. Or if you're looking for something darker, try the dark roast FNT blend of the fellowship. You know what? Just buy all three. GeekGrindCoffee.com. Use discount code Nerdrotic. <laughs>
Do not come. Do not come. I'm gonna come. Dame, dame.